Welcome everyone to a Wicked Secret, an actual play by uh, the awesome folks behind the Effect Podcast. Uh, this is this uh, adventure and scenario is available uh, in the Freely Web Store. I will uh, just go to freelypublishing.com and uh, you can pick up the, this uh, this hardcover book right here. This is amazing. This just came out uh, recently. Uh, it's a Wicked Secret. It also has three other um, adventures in it. So if you want more content for Vason, make sure to pick that up. Let us bring on the GM for this session, the one and only Matthew from the Effect Podcast. Hello, hello. How are you? Very well, thank you. Thanks for uh, coming on and, and running this uh, this uh, adventure for for us uh, this afternoon or evening, I guess, over over it where is you're at. Evening here. We'll be finishing yeah. at some point between eleven o'clock and midnight, which is exactly the right sort of time for playing uh, Verson. What time That's is it over in the US? Well, um, well where, where, the US? where I'm at, it's it's only three o'clock in the afternoon, so that that's not uh, not too bad. So uh, once this is done, I'll be able to get some dinner and maybe turn on some TV and and actually relax for uh, for part of the day. So, but you've got an amazing cast uh, coming on and doing this actual play. You've got four incredible role players. Uh, you've you've seen them before in previous adventures. I'm just going to remind folks if you are are not familiar with uh, Matthew and Dave's uh, work over on the uh, Effect Podcast. Uh, let's just bring Dave on too because you know he's the, he's the <laughs> other <laughs> <half>. partners. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm yeah. the senior partner. He's the sort of dumb dog's potty. <laughs> uh, but you should face. so you're so tiresome, Matthew. You're really <laughs> <right>. <laughs> uh, I want to just remind folks that you definitely check out the the Effect Podcast. Uh, you, you, we want to point folks into the direction of where they should go if they want to more um, Matthew and Dave in their lives. Yeah, I mean, you can find our um, our podcast on www.effect with a k podcast dot org. Or you can find our actual plays. We're about to drop another episode tomorrow morning of Destroyer of Worlds uh, on EffectAP.org. So those are our two podcast feeds. We're also doing some stuff on YouTube like you get guys, uh, Doug. Um, and again, look for us under Effect Podcast there and on Twitch. Excellent, excellent. The other thing that I would like to remind folks is that uh, we would love it if you are tuning into the show for the first time, please hit that subscribe button down below uh, and uh, be a part of our, our YouTube community here. We're getting re really, really close to 3,500 uh, subscribers. That's kind of the goal that we want to hit before the end of the year. So if you would love to help us make that possible, please hit that subscribe button. If you hit that bell, little bell notification, you'll you'll get notified every single time we go live or upload new content. Um, also, if you're a fan of Vazen, hit the like button down below and all those little things help help us grow as, as a show and, and we definitely love getting this this content out to uh, the folks that enjoy all of our free league games here so without further ado I'm going to back out I'm going to hand the show over to you Matthew and uh, you all have a great uh, great session if anybody is watching and would like to chat uh, I'll try, try to throw some comments up every once in a while when when uh, you know people say something pretty funny or something and and uh, also if you have any uh, if you want me to throw a an illustration or uh, graphic up let me know as well and i'll throw that on the screen as well matthew i'll shout doug i'll shout and wait and you will provide I, as I, always I, <laughs> I hope to so all right have a great session cheers See doug. You, welcome everybody and welcome especially to um both players and characters that you may have met before when we played the silver of the sea at essen Shall we just go round the table and uh, introduce ourselves, both both our, our real selves and the characters we're playing, to remind everybody? Dave, do you want to go first as my podcasting partner? Well, I think, as, as, as Magnuson, it's only appropriate that Lady Inga should go first. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Magnuson. Uh, my name, uh, out of character, is Emily. I am part of Level One Geek, where we try and convert people to the wonderful addiction that is TTRPGs. We've got a Twitch page and a website and a Twitter, and you can find us under Level One Geek. Um, we, oh, I'm playing Inga, who is a doctor, uh, with the lovely Magnuson helping her out at every turn. She could not get by without him, and uh, yeah. I think that's me. Brilliant. And within this group, is August or Victor your most troublesome companion? <laughs> I think that I would have to say that August is most troublesome, but also the one she is maybe most fond of. <laughs> so, Millie, why don't you go next? 
I, uh, um, uh, I'm suddenly feeling very scouse and I don't know why. Um, <laughs> hi, my name is Millie. Um, I am found on the internet under Millie the GM. Um, but um, today I'm going to be August. August, the, the young writer who has had a little bit of trouble of late and now is yearning for times of less travel, I think. Sentimental <laughs> for times when she could just settle down with a good book and a, a typewriter. Uh, yeah. Excellent. And, and Victor, Tom? Hi. Yeah, uh, I'm Tom. I'm usually one of Matthew's victims. Sometimes he's my victim. It, we sort of take <laughs> turns. <laughs> and I'm playing as uh, Victor, uh, what I thought was Nystrom, but I've been informed is Nystrom, uh, according <laughs> to my expert um, <clears throat> linguist. And uh, yes, he is uh, a priest with some issues. Um, He's just trying to get through the day and not go crazy and not have weird dreams about giant fish. Aren't we all? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, and and this, this all relates to your previous adventure you had, which had quite a cataclysmic ending. And I imagine it's taken you all some time to, to, um, to uh, recover a little bit before you made any journeys. But you have been making... Oh, sorry, I, I haven't come back. Magnuson, actually, <laughs> having deferred to your mistress, I almost <clears throat> left you off the list. Um, Dave, do it's, you want to say a little bit about who you it's, are? It's not Magnus's place to question the GM or anyone, frankly. Oh, um, yeah, so I'm Dave, uh, Matthew's co-host on the Effect podcast, uh, um, freelance writer, done some writing for Free League with Alien and a couple of, couple of other bits. And I'm playing Magnuson today. Magnuson is Lady Ingers, Ingers Butler. And he's very prim and proper, um, but obviously um, Lady Inga is his number one priority. Excellent. And um, uh, Victor, I, I just wonder whether you have any relations in the church up in this northern part of Sweden that you are headed to as we speak. Undoubtedly, undoubtedly. Jolly good, because uh, the vicar non-player character is also called Nystrom, uh, <laughs> Ingvar Nystrom. So uh, I feel oh, Ingvar, there may why be a didn't you say so? <laughs> yes, old cousin Ingvar. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, may maybe I'll give you a, a two-dice advantage when you have some interaction with him uh, based, on, uh, based on your familial relationship. Right. You have been on a long, long journey, though. It's taken days. It's by train and by coach and then stopping off and then and then some more coach riding. So can you tell me why you are traveling to the village of um, of Fernstra? Oh, me? Sorry. Well, yeah, yeah, I, mean, well, yeah, I just felt like everyone was yeah. staring at me. I'll do it. Yeah, sure. I was. I was staring. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not my it's not my place to get in the way, Lady Inga. So of course. Um, well, we were asked by uh, August von Meher, who it's not the lovely August that we are with right now. We have two Augusts in this game. Um, August von Meher was asking for us to check out a couple of his, well, let me restart. I got flustered. Um, <laughs> August von Meher wrote to us. He is an industrialist. He is trying to start a business and this little town of von Fernsta. I'm gonna butcher all of the words, I'm so sorry. So, in Fernsta is lush with forests, the ground is fertile, and he has a logging business. So of course, he's going to be interested in this land. And he sent a couple people to go investigate it, and one of them disappeared. And the other one has come back injured and almost un... He can't, he can't speak straight. We can't get the story out of him. And he fears that something terrible has been going on. And to top it all off, there has been rumors around Fernsta um, of that they have the blood of God on their hands and everyone avoids them. They are self-sufficient. The villagers around leave them alone. So something suspicious has gone down here and he is hoping that we can find out what has happened. Did I miss and anything? You will be, or the society will be well rewarded yes. if you uh, manage to solve this mystery. Um, the pressure is on. Lindesgeld, uh, Nils Lindesgeld is the employee of Mayer that 
uh, you also interviewed. Can you can anybody remember what sort of circumstances you found him in and what sort of stuff he was saying? Uh, the Linda skirt. Yes, he seems to be suffering from shock. As the doctor, I have diagnosed it as such. He has scrapes all over him. He keeps ranting and raving about some wild beast, but these injuries look like from branches, not from an animal, though he does seem to be growling and prowling about in his prison of a sawmill, in like a locked room of that sawmill. Well, one thing I think that he said haunts all of you as you make the last couple of days journey up to the village of Farnstair. And that is him saying, as you left, red eyes, red eyes, they stared at me, a devil's eyes. And so we come to the village of Farnstair. Um, Doug, will you put up the village map here? And there we go. Um, and it's a, you know, it's a pleasant Christian village. You can see it's kind of dominated by the church up at uh, number three. Um, uh, you know, a decent churchyard by it as well. Um, some fine houses here. The, the logging business, there's a sawmill over here, but it's done pretty well for this village. Um, there's some pretty wealthy people here that built themselves a very fine village hall. Um, you're going to be staying here at number seven. Uh, this is the right. uh, uh, Karlsdurm house uh, where um, Mr. Mayer has already arranged four rooms and given you some money to uh, to recompense Merta Karlsdurm, who will be your hostess there. Uh, what else can we point out? Um, I'd like to just say that there are an awful lot of graves in that graveyard yes. it is very well stocked <laughs> isn't it <laughs> so it may... yeah and that's interesting isn't it yeah a lot of it's, graves it's... all around the graves kind of almost encroaching on this village generally you can see there is very lush woodland despite the presence of this sawmill here the um the lumberjacks are obviously very uh, uh very busy the sawmill very productive uh, even though it's slightly old fashioned, it still uses, you can tell uh, its proximity to the river here shows you that it's using a water wheel as its main source of power. Um, Mayer, when he was talking to you, was talking about converting it to steam as soon as he'd managed to buy all the land that he wants to buy around the village from the villagers themselves. Can I just check, Matthew? This is this is um, Hairner Sand, isn't it? Not Fernster. No, no, is Hernestan this... is where you've come from. That was where you met um, Maya. Right. And you've you've travelled um, a couple of uh, couple of days to come to Fernster here. Yeah. Okay, this is Fernster. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so you travelled. It took about three days to get to Hernestan to meet with August von Maya after you got his letter, uh, and it's taken another couple of days, pretty much, to get here. So you really are in the depths of the northern woods. Gosh. Um, so uh, I'm assuming uh, after those two days journey, you want to come straight to um, uh, uh, Mrs. Uh, Hellstrom's house and um, uh, Karlstrom's house and, uh, and uh, uh, settle in. Yes. Yes, um, let's go. And as you approach it, you'll see it's one of the oldest and finest houses in Fenster. It's two stories tall. It's built from dark uh, lumber with exquisite nature motifs carved into the facade. Um, mm. You are welcomed by Merta Karlström. And could you show us picture number 64, please? Uh, this is uh, uh, Marta Karlström. She's very friendly. She smiled. She's not smiling in this picture, actually. I'm sorry. But when she <laughs> greets you, she is smiling uh, very jovially. And um, she uh, welcomes you. Welcome, welcome. You must be Inga, the doctor. Um, mm, um, yes. I, I had word that you were coming. Uh, telegram. It takes, it takes some time for telegrams to get here. It has only just preceded you. But... Oh. Um, 
very, very, very welcome. I'm sure you wish to uh, um, be uh, sent. Uh, I, I will take you upstairs to your room. I, I'm, I'm sorry that I can only accommodate all of you in one shared room, but um, but I, I can I can offer you food. I can offer you uh, venison stew I have here and uh, some beer and uh, 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 a splash of aquavit maybe as well. But first of all, let me take you up to your room. You are and too on kind. the second floor, she takes you to a room and it's um, very simply laid out. It's uh, kind of dormitory style. There's two bunks on either side of the room. There's a curtain that you can pull across so that the ladies have some privacy from the gentlemen they're sharing with. <clears throat> sharing with. But uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cough kind of politely <clears throat> and say, um, uh, Mrs. Karlström, if, uh, if, I would, if I may take the liberty, uh, are there no other accommodations that would be more suitable for Lady Inga here? This room is it's somewhat beneath her expectations and standing. Magnuson, we shouldn't frown upon the kindness of Myrta's heart. Uh, while I understand and I appreciate your efforts, Myrta, don't worry yourself, please. Uh, Myrta says, uh, I'm sure I can find some accommodation here. If you leave your bags here, um, then uh, by, uh, we, uh, let, us, let us eat first of all, and I will have a room prepared for you. Uh, one okay. of the guest rooms further along the corridor. Obviously, I can if see. I, I, I thought you were all commercial travellers, like here, uh, the last um, gentleman that von Meyer sent. Uh, I can see you are a lady of quality, and I quite understand your man's uh, point of view. Uh, I, yes, yes, I can, I can find some, uh, another room for you and have it prepared. Uh, but it needs a bit of airing. Come, uh, eat. Uh, Let uh, us go downstairs uh, and eat. Again, if I may take the liberty, uh, Lady Inga, um, if I go with your staff, Mrs. Karlstrom, I can prepare the room to Lady Inga's specifications and tastes. Uh, very well, but I, 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 I would not deprive you of some food. Um, if you care to go straight down to the kitchens and uh, uh, and be served there, I will. Um, uh, yes, they, they they will let you eat first, and then maybe uh, you can help prepare. Um, uh, Inga's room. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Magnuson, I appreciate you as always. And I feel like we share a look where we always do on a job where you go speak with the <laughs> staff while we talk to the person of the house. <laughs> Excellent. So we've already split the party, which uh, <laughs> uh, we're 19 minutes into the session. That's great. Less so, than um, that, in fact. Uh, I guess we'll start with you, Magnuson, since you're going to be nearest the food and the other's going to have to wait um, and um, be served some aquavit or some beer first while the food gets brought out to them. So, yeah, um, your, uh, the, 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 the servants here are sociable enough, a little bit wary of you, but um, they... Uh, aren't terribly forthcoming, but uh, they're welcoming. Okay, I'll try and be, obviously be friendly and take some of the burden off them of the, the work that they're doing to try and, uh, you know, ingratiate myself with them a little bit. And um, I want to engage them in conversation about the previous commercial gentleman who came through here um, and what they know about them. Ah, yes. Um, yes, uh, they're, they're quite full of that sort of gossip. Um they speak mostly about uh, the man who's gone missing, Hamastrum, mm. um, and they said that he's come. He made a very good offer to sell not just the land hereabouts, which uh, uh, lots of villages here they say, uh, lots of the gentlefolk in this village own parts of this land, so they must convince all of the village to sell the land as a whole but um marta herself owns the sawmill and so um they they were particularly keen and apparently offered her a very good price to um to to sell the sawmill they don't think she will though um she said according to them that uh, she needed time to think about it that it is her pride and joy um so they, 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 they think 
quite apart from what happened to poor uh, Hammarström uh, and uh, uh, his companion, um, she, they don't think she's inclined to sell. Um, what did what did happen to Mr. Hammerstrom and, and his companion? What I've heard I've heard all sorts of strange stories. It'd be great to get the uh, get the real story from you. At this point, I am going to ask you to make a roll to make that happen. Okay. I'm just... First roll. <laughs> yes. Um, so, and I think the roll I'm going to make you make is. Um, the social role, obviously. It's not going to be close combat then. We no, just it's stop. going to be. Uh, Off to a good spot. <laughs> well, at least I've got. If at least I've got a few dice in close combat. I haven't got very many dice in manipulation. Do I get a bonus for having been helping them around the kitchen and doing stuff? In great no, I think you roll a straight roll. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> worth a try. Uh, four dice. Yeah, always worth a try. I get one success. Um. Them, give me a moment. I need to put some, need to develop my manipulation skills. I think, Lady you Inga, you need see. to send me on a training course or something. Uh, that they are <laughs> reluctant. Sorry, Matthew. You can see they're kind of reluctant to tell you, but in the end, they say, um, There is a story, I don't know whether it's true. But there is a story that there is a creature in these woods. Uh, you mean like, like a bear or something? Not a bear. Not a bear. Something, something of the unseen. A fearsome creature. Um, and then, actually, I'm just going to throw this in here. Given that you did get one success. Uh... Let me just choose which of these. Uh, yeah, and um, uh, could you show uh, uh, Doug? Could you show us picture seventy-seven? <laughs> And uh, she pulls out of her big family cookbook uh, a bit of parchment that is actually really old. It's been preserved in the front of the cookbook, but it looks like it's a medieval text. And it says, if you hear the sound of fleeing birds, snapping branches and loud footsteps, you shall be its next victim. Pray then that your fate will be swift, for staring into its infernal gaze can plunge even the purest mind into madness. Those who threaten the place of God will suffer its wrath. This fell guardian is our church grim, larger than a stag, stronger than a bear, and more agile than a lynx. It watches over God's acre. Running faster than a horse, it hunts down anyone who endangers this place. Mm. It rests at the place where the Lord's eyes are watching. That's a really interesting little manuscript you have there. Where, where, how old is that? <laughs> and have we lost, lost the lost DM? <laughs> You're and, muted, uh, Doug. Doug muted. Doug, can't hear you, Doug. Speak up, Doug. I was just going to say, uh, evidently, I, I'm going to have to GM here for uh, Matthew. <laughs> Matthew. I don't know. I, <laughs> he just leaves he, his uh, connection. He dropped out all of a sudden. So. Did, you, did, you, did yeah. you prepare for this, Doug? I, I did, I did not. In fact, oh, okay. I did, well, normally well, let's just say, I, I did read the, I did read the, uh, the, the uh, adventure, but uh, I am not prepared to run it, so... I trust you. Uh, Let's go. We did, we we did have Gabby. Let's just. I'll just mention that uh, we had Gabby on uh, the author of this uh, of this adventure uh, Wednesday or yesterday, and uh, it was uh, a great chat for uh, for almost an hour that we had with with her and uh, and Johan. So, oh, see and now. Well, well, maybe we can get Gabby on 
And she can DM it for us. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. DM it via chat. Just DM it she, via chat. She, yeah, she <laughs> is in the chat. Idea. So <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Um, my my browser decided to um, go back a page and Stop obviously browsing. not the page that has Streamyard on it. Yeah. Uh, All right, so. I'll uh, I'll. <laughs> thank you doug for saving me uh so where were we yes yes we so just she finished. shows yep. you this and it's obviously a very treasured text so she doesn't let you have it but puts it carefully back in in the book and says that's very old um and it is uh the house's one of the house's most treasured possessions it's it's beautiful um how, how old is it uh centuries old 300 Century. years i think 300 oh, yeah. maybe more well, I'd, I'd be honoured to, at some point, when we're not so busy, to to be allowed to look at the the book itself. I'm in your in your in your company, of course. Uh, she doesn't have the book, so she pulled this bit of old parchment out of her cookbook. Right. Um, oh, I quite know... like to look at some of your recipes too, actually. But um, another time, maybe. Uh, uh, well, she says said so there. Uh, maybe. Very... They're even more secret than the secrets yes. about the grim, the grim, the church grim. Okay, fair enough. Uh, she says, so stay safe here. Do not anger the grim, if if that's what it was. How, well, uh, how, how would I anger the grim? What, what, what mustn't I do to not anger the grim? Dad, did you not read the text? Well, I did, but is there anything specific? <laughs> uh, well... <laughs> forgive I mean, me you're, you're new here but i imagine those who know exactly what angers the grim do not live to tell the tale <laughs> okay well um fine i, li I, I live a godly life she says here and i have uh, not been eaten and many of the villagers hereabouts have not been eaten uh those who have may be Okay, so Maybe so quite a lot. lot of people have been eaten by the church I, grim. I'm then. not saying a lot, no. <laughs> and we don't even know whether this man Amersturm was was eaten, but um. But is that that's the that's the suspicion because he was trying to buy some of the land that the grim felt he was threatening the village, and decided to eat him. Well, you can you can see it if he's uh, the agent of an industrialist who, who wants to. Um, maybe replace our old sawmill with a with a steam driven one maybe mm. be more efficient yeah maybe 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 it was his threat to the village that saw the grim uh decide that he should not survive and obviously the grim uh yeah, approves of your the sawmilling that you do here on the level that you, that you do it at obviously sustainably um see how lush this ground is how thick the forests are um i i'm no lumberjack myself but uh i we are we are a happy village here a wealthy village given our size um i i don't I, think we anger anybody i can't say i approve of your church grim's methods but i can understand why he would like to preserve this place in uh in the in the beautiful condition that it is hmm. do we need to mash those potatoes they're going a bit soggy i think Okay. Okay. Yes, she gets she gets back to work. <laughs> Meanwhile, at dinner, uh, the the other three of you sit down with Marta Karlström, and uh, she's she's kind of saying much the same sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, I mean, not talking particularly about the Church Grim or the fate of Hammerstrom, but she is telling you all that um, this village has always been close to nature, and. Um, this lush forest around us is something that we are all proud of. Um, I can um, be your guide if you like. Tomorrow I will happily uh, walk you around some of the locations. But you first of all will need a good night's sleep, I'm sure. Oh, you are both kind and considerate. Thank, well, thank you. you. I thank think we, you. Would, we would love a tour around. And might I just remark, the face of your building with all the carvings. Oh, beautiful. I've never seen its like. How did that come into existence? Uh, this is a, an old house, one of the oldest in, in the village. And um, my 
my great grandfather, I think it was, who commissioned those carvings. And they're, as you might imagine, in a village whose primary industry is uh, the production of wood, we have many skilled craftsmen here. Mm. And uh, I do believe that many villagers contributed to the carvings. Uh, uh, oh, the surrounding as a, as a sign of thank you to my great grandfather. A thank you for for establishing the sawmill. Yes, and and um, and uh, we are so far from the seat of government that uh, we often find ourselves as a community having to solve our problems, and not just my family, but all the families here, the skits, for example. Uh, we have all come together to work together to live in harmony. Oh, that is beautiful. <laughs> have you met the skits yet? No, you've only just arrived, of course. Yeah. No, no, they're, they're very pleasant. Um, um, uh, uh, I'm just trying to remember. Uh, forgive me, I'm just going to look this up in my book. <laughs> uh, 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 Yes, um, a Dor a Dorothea skit. She is her her husband died um, some time ago, but uh, she and her daughter live in a possibly one would argue the the, the next finest house in the village, mm. and she directs you or you know indicates sort of down the road mm. to a, a large house that you do remember um, seeing on your way in there. Her daughter's such a wild one. She lives in the forest. Uh, she hunts. Uh, she's quite an accomplished archer. My goodness, August, that sounds like the, the main character of your new book. Maybe. I'm, I'm slightly <laughs> wary of, of the youngest childs who are attuned to nature. Why? And, and she leans forward and she says, do you not remember the the handsome chap on, on the island. Uh, he, he was quite handsome. He was But quite... I don't think it would have worked out. And she, like, taps her nose, like, conspiracy, like, you know, that man who turned out to be the son of a mermaid and nearly made us all drown with a kraken. <laughs> oh, she, that. Oh, it's what she taps her nose about. Like, that's, that's it, yeah. Um, that was an experience. And she turns to Murta. The poor dear had her heart broken quite recently <laughs> by way of explanation and then <laughs> her plate because she doesn't know what to say next. Yeah. Um, Murta makes a, makes a show of um, uh, just wiping her mouth with her serviette. To, you, you feel maybe to stifle a smile and, uh, and, and not, 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 uh, not look too condescending to the... Uh, to the obviously heartbroken writer and the very handsome man who lived on the island mm -hmm. about whom she's made up stories about mermaids and krakens and yes 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 fanciful writers minds does does august have a scar from where i shot her <laughs> probably <In the> face. <laughs> i think it was in the face wasn't it yes i think i think she has a uh, a scar on her forehead. I think we did mention that. Yeah. In the, in the last so. adventure. And for for any for any anyone watching who didn't see the last adventure, I I shot her to get her out of a trance, not for any other reason. I was trying to help her, and I did help her. But... Yeah, sort of. It's, it's not like to do with the gun. Yeah, yeah it was a blessed, blessed gun it. as well. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> My chances of hitting are very slim without a blessed gun. It was the holy hand grenade of guns. Yeah. <laughs> But, Sorry, um, I digress. Yeah, um, but I will. I will take Inga's advice, perhaps, and maybe in the morning go and find this wild child of the the forests. Very well. Is there anything you want to do this evening after a very pleasant meal, or do you just want to go to bed after that long journey? Have we arrived quite late in the day? Have we? Yeah, I think so. Yes, it's. Yeah. Um, it's. This uh, is one of those lates where it stays. Light, light until it is two in quite the summery, mm. so it is quite late. Yes, I can't remember whether we know exactly when it is, what time of year, but I seem to remember I, uh, the days are long. Yeah. Victor would quite like to have a little stroll around the town just to sort of get his bearings, and he, he, he wants to uh, have a look at the church 
sort of walk around and look at some of the dates on the gravestones and, you know, no, take in the sights. By all means. Um, uh, uh, do do the others want to accompany Victor, or is do we, we do we get, get to, party again? I so said, do we get together? Is this after we've all eaten? And because I'll I'll explain what I learned from the from the the head chef in the in the kitchens, and and just say I know, I know Father Tom, uh, Father Victor, you're not going to do anything disrespectful around the church, but really, don't do anything disrespectful around the church. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you won't, but just to be it, honest, it wasn't on my list of, uh, <laughs> of you know, my, agenda, my typical <clears throat> agenda. Um, yeah. So how how are you doing this? Are you uh, are you suggesting this, Victor, at the meal without the advice of Magnuson, or are you waiting? Oh no, I, uh, I I expected you know after the meal we'd probably briefly regroup in our quarters or something before well, we and indeed, up to do and, anything. Uh, the the household servants have made another guest room available for Inga, uh, a little bit further down the corridor at the smarter end of the house. You're you're realizing that the room that the rest of you are in is kind of servants' quarters. But uh, I'm used to that sort of uh, that sort of space. Mm -hmm. So maybe this is a discussion you're having while Magnuson um, transfers Inga's uh, effects into the. Into the better room. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Seems reasonable. So, yes, I, um, I had a... your conclusion as a group. What do you want to do? Uh, will so... anyone be joining me on my my stroll around the town? Oh, what do you think, August? I think um, we could. I think I might want to go and find someone who will feed me not stew because I've had bad experiences with stew um, so oh, yes. I've mostly eaten bread this evening um, but yes I guess a walk would drive the appetite further and hopefully we can find something I think Maybe. Yeah, I, I think if I may we, we, we may need to be a little cautious around the, um, the, the church and the churchyard if if the the church grim that the, the servants here at least are convinced have eaten uh, Mr. Hammerstrom, um, if, if he must live uh, rest at the place where God rests, it's probably in and around the church. So I, I, I suspect we might need to be cautious. Oh. And when I say that, I'll take out, check my revolver, and then put the revolver away. <laughs> <clears throat> my goodness. Um... All right. We what is it exactly that defends this uh, this grim the most? Things that threaten the village. So we need to be seen to be not threatening the village, unless, of course, we want to flush this thing out, and then we could. Well, that's, hmm. that's we not could... a bad idea. Perhaps we should well... talk to the father of the church and see if he knows more of this guardian. Mm. Indeed, I was hoping to meet up with my uh, cousin Ingvar. Oh, that's <laughs> right. Ingvar. Name was. <laughs> how, how long has um, cousin Ingvar lived here? Because it strikes me that all the people here are aware of this creature. They all approve of this creature. And outsiders... So, so Uncle Ingvar may be, cousin Ingvar may be one of... We may need to be guarded around what we say to him. Very possibly. Uh, as far as you're aware, since you you do have him, he's, he's considerably older than you are, Victor. And as far as you're aware, he has been a um, uh, priest here at Fernster for many decades, ever since he finished his ecclesiastical studies. Mm -hmm. Perhaps he's a cousin twice removed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So are you heading there? Do we need to see the map, Doug? Again, sixty-three. <clears throat> so yeah, the church is kind of at the other end of the village, uh, over here. Mm-hmm. Three. Three. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Perfect. 
Yeah, okay. We'll take a brisk walk then. The, uh, the other thing I'm curious about is the particularly large graveyard. And I was, uh, I was wondering if there might be any pattern, you know, any, uh, any of the graves, you know, sometimes you get clusters, don't you? Clusters of, of dates. Maybe one um, a year. <laughs> or deaths well, on particular. I think there's probably several a year, because uh, they don't just have one. But what I mean day. is, you know, is there, yeah, is there any, any uh, regular significant dates, full moons, things like that? Mm. <laughs> uh, right, that may about take it, you um, some time to, to look at, but... Uh, do you want to go into the church first, or wander around the churchyard? Uh, just, I'd, I'd like to go in and, and uh, visit my cousin, catch up with him. Ah, one, one, one thought, if I may um, take the liberty and, and offer it, um, Lady Inga, is that um, Linda Skuld, uh, we were told, was starting to screech and growl and behave like a beast. Yes. And whether, whether there's some affection that he's received or some curse... Um, we might wish to be careful again. Doubly cautious. Doubly cautious. Did your did your talk with the servants say anything about madness? For I took it a shock. Originally. They yeah well, they they did they did uh, they they allowed me to see a a piece of um, a page from a, a an ancient book that they claimed quite why she would torn it out and put it into her recipe book. I'm not sure but she allowed me to see it and i read it and that did say that if you look into the eyes of this creature it will drive you mad mm -hmm. and being death might be a preferable alternative to that don't worry lady inga i won't allow either of these things to happen to you well thank you but do take care of yourself as well madness i'll do my best <sighs> all right well if we do encounter a beast don't look it in the eyes right I make a note of that. <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot, a lot of things you don't want to do to this beast if you encounter it. Yeah. Um. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming before we left, did we do any research on the evidence we had? I was on the letter. That. We have our, our, did we look our at, book, didn't yeah. we? So, did it give what us any key? Of... Um, so from from the letter, we had some information in the letter about it, about the beast and things. Whether there was any, somebody want to make a learning roll? Um, learning. You please to make a learning roll. Do do do. Let me look at my character sheet. Can I can I offer a dice of help by carrying books from the shelves to her? By all means. With, with my learnings. Yeah. Cool. So take an extra die, Emily. Perfect. All right. That and if you want to use your advantage on this role, Emily, since we're flashing back to an incident that happened earlier on. Sure. Then add two extra dice. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Two extra? Okay. So I've got five and then six from you. And then, okay. I'm rolling eight dice. Wow. Okay, I got three successes. Three successes? Yeah. Well, as it happens, yes, you do remember. Um, and uh, Magnuson is right to remind you of something you read about. <laughs> um, uh, yes, we'd, already Magnuson had discovered that, that they, they call it a church grim. And mm. there are a number of tales in the library of such beasts guarding houses of God and graveyards against looters and thieves, um, effectively a versen in the, in the service of God. Um, but you also recall that a church grim is created in a very particular way, a ritual of sacrifice, where an animal is walled in alive in a church wall. And after this, the church grim enters its service as the guardian. Uh, and and uh, oh, sorry, go on. Uh, uh, in terms of uh, what, what what turns uh, a grim against you, sin. The church grim reacts to sinful acts, blasphemy against God, or desecration of holy symbols will spur it into action. 
So when they said the beast rests within God's house, perhaps... They were being literally, literally true, yeah. 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 Look for oh, any presumably, hastily bricked up corners. Yeah, presumably the, the, the poor animal that is bricked up is dies, and it's the version comes from that sacrifice. Mm-hmm. So there's... And if this has been around for probably a long time, there's a pile of bones, I guess, hidden somewhere. Is there anything, did we learn anything about how we might exorcise this creature? Is not, there a, not for three successes no. on the learning roll. <laughs> That's pretty good, though. I mean, <laughs> not bad, not bad. Okay. All right. Well, why don't we meet up with this? Uh father of the house, the church, and see what he has to say about all this. Okay. So you're going in openly into the church. You're not sneaking in or anything like that, are you? We've got family here. We're good. Sneaking yeah. into, into a church would be yeah. sinful. That would be <laughs> yeah. rude. And um, uh, no you see, uh, let, me, uh, let me just find the picture. Uh, picture Number uh, 67, please. <laughs> it looks this just like you, Tart. It looks just like you, The family it resemblance is strong indeed. <laughs> um, he's quite a timid man, very studious, uh, and, he, and he greets you. And I, I'm afraid you'll probably have to introduce yourself to him. He wasn't particularly pre-warned that you were coming, but um, how do you do that? I um, I sort of rush over to him and go, ah, uh, Ink Cousin Ingvar, uh, it's me, Victor. You know, it's been a long time since we last met. Ah, Victor, and he takes his glasses off and he rubs them. It is a real pleasure <laughs> to meet you. What are you doing here so far north? Ah, uh, well, uh, We've uh, we've actually been uh, hired um, to look into uh, uh, the missing the the missing um, person the Hammer Hammer Hammerstrom what was his name? It's not remind me. It's it's Hammerstrom, Father Hammerstrom. Uh, uh, yes, yes, the gentleman who came through here only recently. Yes, I I did have a little contact with them. Uh, well, with uh, Hammerstrom himself on a few occasions. Um, what did you make of Hammerstrom? Can somebody make an observation roll while he's talking? Um, 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 uh, which which game are you talking about, Matt? Observation, observation empathy. Oh yeah, um, so it's at the bottom. Yeah, yeah. So we normally make make. <laughs> no, 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 come okay. on, come on. It's an observation role. Yeah, in I would track that. I've, I've tried to be smart and I've made myself look like a right fool. So, <laughs> I'll just go now, I think. The great thing is, Gabby actually writes it here in bold type, so I know it exists in this setting. <laughs> so helpful. Um, I failed all, yeah. I failed too. Oh, I will roll. I thought it was just one of us. Um, oh, can we all roll? It just be one of you. But, uh, oh, my no, God. Okay, fair oh, enough. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Should I not roll? So I think Go Millie's rolling roll. for us then. Go ahead and roll. <laughs> all right, okay, I'll roll. roll. One, two, three, four, five. Um, I get one success. Three. You get one success. You will notice then, uh, as a keen judge of character, you're already making us a kind of um, mental sketch of this fellow because you think he'd be a great priest to have in one of your stories. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's short and thin, by the way, with hair that barely covers his increasingly bald dome and that uh, moustache that you saw on a very pointy nose. You, you, you're finding all that, but you also notice that he looks distinctly uncomfortable talking about Habersturm as he talks with his cousin, Victor. Mm. Um, and anyway, he says um, to Victor, well, he was trying to make uh, deals with uh, a lot of the villagers hereabouts and to um, <clears throat> trying to entice them into selling their land. And, uh, uh, well, you know, I'm not entirely sure whether 
such big business has any place here in, in our village. Uh, well, yes, you're clearly a very uh, independent village and uh, and a strong as uh, a strong tradition here i sense of uh, of of that independence yeah um... whilst whilst they're talking can i take a little stroll just around the church and have a look around if there's anything that looks like it's slightly different brickwork or stonework to anywhere else okay inside or outside Oh, uh, well, I assumed we were inside, but yeah, I'd like inside. to go inside. Okay. Yeah. Doug, will you perhaps show us picture number 66? 66. Ominous. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> now, I'm going to need, uh, as, as Magnuson walks off in an investigative manner, we're going to uh, need, I feel, to... Um, to uh, distract Ingvar and make sure that he's not observing Magnuson. So, who wants to? Who wants I'm, to help I'm not trying. There? I'm not trying to do it sneakily. I was. Um, I'm not yeah, trying to do anything disrespectful. So. Yes, I'm, I'm understanding that. But yeah. uh, uh, does anybody want to um, question uh, the the vicar? Um, perhaps. Um, perhaps as I talk to him, I could sort of walk slightly around the church. Uh, as to sort of keep him looking away from uh, Magnuson. Yes, I'll I... also come along with. I, I want to hear stories of when our good friend was young. <laughs> okay. And I'll then. probably I'll probably point out what a, a lovely building this is as we as you know as we as we walk across the. Uh, and you're kind of going directly yeah. opposite sort of way. So yeah. Can I get you then, uh, Victor, to make a manipulation roll? You can indeed. Uh, let's see. That's uh, seven. And I got one success. Okay. Um, uh, Magnuson, would you make an investigation roll? Uh, really, it should be somebody else doing this. <laughs> this is not oh, my do fault. I get, um, do I get an additional die from uh, Inga helping me? I didn't add that. Uh, you, don't, you don't need to, don't worry. Okay. Don't worry, but you should do, yes. As long as Inga... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I, no successes. Um, I'm, I, I think I'm going to push that. Okay. What is the condition I'm, you're going to take? To I'm, I'm going to take angry mm -hmm. because I'm I'm angry. Uh, I I love Verson as much as I love humans, um, and I'm angry that people would break up an animal to release a Verson. To create a Verson. Yeah. yeah. And I get two sixes this time. All oh, right. <laughs> okay. So you anger. do notice <laughs> yeah. a uh, a loose stone in the wall in the sacristy. Can we go back to that, Matt? I'm I'm trying to hide my anger because I don't want to show any wrath whilst we're in in this place <laughs> in the house of God. Yeah, <laughs> that would be a sin. Being a deadly <laughs> sin. Um, yep. Doug, can we have map sixty six, please? So. Um, Oh, I can't quite read where that is. Is um, it the top left? So this bit here, you you you've wandered into here, mm -hmm. the sacristy, which is can't, where. Can't, yeah, can't see where you're pointing. Oh, sorry. Just remember, yeah. On top the left. top right of the map, the little room next to the altar. It's where the priest puts his robes on. Yeah, top left. Mm -hmm. Top left. Yeah, yeah that indeed. Yeah. It's it it's cool. uh, your left by right. Yes. <laughs> in the church somewhere the church. Stage, stage right i think is the, yeah fr from the altar mm -hmm. yes yeah that's what i was thinking of exactly well done thank you yeah. uh yeah you found uh, uh, a a little brick that's kind of uh, you know been obviously pulled in and out uh, quite a bit 
Am I uh, unobserved there? In the you are unobserved there because you're in a little room. Yes. I'm. I want to have a quick look then. Okay. Hello. Um, you See, pull I it out pull the... and uh, you find another bit of medieval text. Mm, okay. I'm going to choose which one it is. Is it that one? Or is it that one? Okay. This, uh, uh, could you show, uh, Doug, could you show everybody uh, picture number 75? This piece of paper, and it obviously comes from the same work as that bit of paper in the yeah. um, in the book, in in the cookbook that the cook showed you. The cruel fate of the cat, baptized by fire in the name of the Lord, gave it life anew. Now it watches over this place, and it always will, sworn to be its protector. Only when its bones suffer the same fate that once brought it into existence will it perish. <clears throat> Burn the bones then, or cremate the bones. Are there any bones in this little alcove? No. Or is this, is this like a, an access to a bigger space behind it, or is this no, just a... No. It's just that sort of brick space. And there's nothing else in there. Okay, I'll, I'll put it back as I found it. Mm-hmm. And then, very nonchalantly, hands behind my back, walk out as if I'm looking at the stained glass windows, if they are stained glass, or the architecture. And um... Meanwhile, in your conversation with, uh, with the priest, Victor and Inga, is there anything else you want to ask? Ooh. What else do we need to grill him under? Uh... Um, Victor. I heard about just this wonderful little tale of your village. That you have a guardian. Is that right? Um, Someone who protects the village. A guardian. Well, um, there are there are some men of the village that you know. If if troublemakers come, then there, there are some strong men who are willing to pick up uh, axe halves and. Um, uh, direct them away from the village to trouble some other community. But um, no, I'm not sure I understand quite what you mean by guardian. Ah, oh, just folklore then. Folklore, yeah, it's very probably. You know, you know how it is with with mm. um, old tales from pre-Christian times that uh, that come through here. Ah, oh, yes. Well, August is a writer. She collects old tales like that. So if you know anyone we can talk to. I wouldn't, um, I, I honestly think that such old tales maybe shouldn't be preserved. Oh, I meant no disrespect. Yes, they come from, as I say, pre-Christian times. And uh, now that we have the word of God, it's surely the only old tale that one needs. 2,000 years, well, 1,800 odd years old. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he says, I, I think that's old enough for most people, don't you think? And he turns to August there. Um, she she sort of looks at him and, and is like, um, well, yes, um, but if if we don't, um, we don't record things of the past, then. Um, then they are lost what? in the wind. From yeah, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, as we say. And yeah, she frowns at him, and then tries not to frown in case that's that's sinful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, hmm. Well, it's been a distinct pleasure, he says, Victor. How long are you staying? Oh, uh, I'm not really sure yet. Uh, a few days, perhaps. I'm sorry I couldn't help you any more with this man, Hammerstrom. Uh, it is indeed mysterious as to uh, where he went missing. And his his companions seem very troubled, I, I hear uh, tell of the villagers. Is, 
Is he, um, is he safe now? Well, um, well, our, our doctor tells me that uh, he's in some some state of shock uh, due to whatever he, uh, whatever occurred. <sighs> These woods, they can be to the to to. To people from from cities, these woods can be so. Um... Anybody with any imagination, he turns to you again, August, <laughs> is liable to conjure up demons and uh, all sorts of uh, old stories and quite scare themselves to death. Or not to death, I mean, but. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, but do do. Do do visit again before you leave. I I will write some letters to other members of the family, and you may um, when you get back to town, maybe um maybe post them on. Oh, I'd be sure to. I'll be sure to. It it's been uh, fantastic to see you after all this time. Well, it is God that brings us together, but I am grateful to Him. Indeed, indeed. Now uh, the hour is perhaps late. Are you still wanting to take a stroll around the? Um, can I can I just ask was was there a door to a crypt or something here that? Not that you saw. No, I don't think no, so. No, just says just says spooky crypt, just above the door. <laughs> well, well, cat cat's bones is what I'm looking for. <laughs> yeah, right. so, oh, the, it's next. To oh, the there is a neon yeah. sign that says cat's <laughs> bones here. <laughs> yeah. um, no, no. Sorry, August. I will um, uh, approach the the priest and and ask him. Um, I know um, you must know all the all the events here in the in the village. Um, I don't suppose there's a place where, if one hadn't eaten supper properly, you could go to perhaps purchase supper. Ah. Uh. Oh. We don't have any of those city restaurants in this village here, but um, <laughs> no kebab but, houses. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we are a charitable community. I am sure my housekeeper. If you come to my house, let me take you there, maybe, and my housekeeper will give you something hearty to eat. Um, I will. I will smile, and 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 say yes. That would be. Um, it. it uh, I will make my way back friends um please don't don't uh, let our, our host know that i've um had to seek other nourishment um i don't want to offend her uh that would be that would be most gracious of you thank you father and he takes you back to uh the vicarage his house where his housekeeper prepares a plain and simple meal cheese and bread and and pickles uh, as well nothing grand but uh but for you and your delicate stomach um it's not delicate the last time i ate stew they poisoned me <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah and it's put you off stew i can understand that some people would call that a delicate stomach paranoid <laughs> yeah. yes um but yeah, I will graciously accept the meal. I will make um, polite talk. If hmm, if you are you wanting to to take advantage of this polite talk, I was I was more trying to to see if I could take the the father away, the priest away, so mm -hmm. as to leave my friends alone in the area. Um, but if the housekeeper looks as though she is of the type that might enjoy or or at least indulge in a little bit of um, fanciful commentary for a, a, a silly city writer, I will indulge. But also I don't want to offend them because she's giving me tea. <laughs> um, right. So, sorry, uh, just say that last bit before I don't want to is, offend them. Is there a way... I guess I'd, t I'd sort of test the water and, and, and like... Um, this sounds to me like a manipulation role. It does, doesn't it? Darn it. Um, yeah. Um, so, so, yeah, I'd test the water a little 
by um what would that what, what would that be it's an empathy one isn't it five um so i'll test the water by by saying um something um what would it be something about how inga the, uh, dr inga brought up the guardians of the area and and how the the priest suggests old old stories should be forgotten and how how heartbroken it makes me to think of that kind of thing um and see see how she goes from there um maybe what so manipulation am i going to be sentimental with this manipulation role <laughs> oh go on i'm going to make you be sentimental so minus one sorry yeah. It's okay. Uh, but I was that just... is the ill effects of your um, terrible um, mental breakdown that you had on the island. It is. It is having been shot at by Magnuson. <laughs> shot at. <laughs> I saved your Growing life. Going into the sea by the <laughs> island itself and yeah. being prepared to be sacrificed to an actual mermaid. All of yeah. that has has kind of made you a bit nervous in these circumstances. <laughs> it has you indeed. Can suddenly feel the pain in that scar. You know, it's coming to my head. Yeah. <laughs> uh, however, I did get two successes. How have you got two successes? I did. Well, I can, but um, but expand upon uh, that then. What will I tell you? <laughs> Everything. All the things. Um. No, she, you're speaking to the housekeeper here rather than the priest, aren't you? Yeah, definitely the housekeeper. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Um, uh, she is entirely happy to tell you about what she calls Fernster's Guardian. Mm. And uh, she says it's watched over the village ever since the church was built. Mm. Um, It will do everything to protect the sacred down of the church. Anything that's required. Um, and she says it's buried. Uh, she understands it to be buried uh, somewhere in the foundations of the church. Oh. Mm -hmm. Church was so built. The church is built on top of it. Built over it. That's, um, I, so, I guess, one way to ensure it's kept kept here and keeps you safe and and looks over you mm. that's very very wise see if we if we didn't engage in the telling of these stories wisdom such as this would be be lost forever and i'll make notes in my my messy notebook and get cheese all over it <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile in the churchyard are you exploring the churchyard um thanks boss uh, yeah. we haven't got the Priest around, yeah, yeah. Don't know. Yeah, have a little, have a little stroll around the churchyard and just see if anything jumps out at us, so to speak. <laughs> Not literally, I hope. Metaphorically. <laughs> um, uh, I'm just. I'm just deciding which thing to, to, to discover. Okay, yes. Um, as you're searching the graveyard and looking for dates, uh, um, can I get you, Inga, to make a learning roll? Absolutely. Okay, let me make sure I've got this right. Two and three. Okay, we're rolling five dice here. Two successes. Mm. Two successes. Nice. So you notice a little bit away from the church, there is a congregation of crows in the trees. More crows than you might expect. And of course, you are aware that crows are scavengers. Mm -hmm. They may be feeding on a cadaver. Oh, OK. Mm. And uh, as you guide the others over to this spot, you can smell there is something rotten Oof. in the air. Uh, I'll step forward <laughs> and I'll say, if, if I may take the liberty, Lady Inga, you should not be exposed to this. Uh, I'm a doctor, Magnuson. Allow me. 
I've seen dead bodies before. <laughs> and I'll press on. <laughs> so as you get closer, the putrid stench grows increasingly intense and soon its source becomes apparent. The crows scatter into the air, revealing that they had been feasting on a body. Seemingly dressed for some fancy occasion, but now its fine garments have been reduced to bloody rags. Although it was, was human, it looks more like something thrown into a potato masher. Its broken limbs are pointing in different directions, and although its chest is facing the ground, its head has been twisted around to stare at the sky. One of the eyes is missing, you presume, with your expert um, knowledge taken by one of the crows. The jaw has been broken, dangling off the savage face at an odd angle, and there are large cuts along the side of the head. Along with patches of bare skull and tiny marks, most likely pecked by the crows. By now, the dry brown blood looks more like the soil on which the body rests. But despite the grotesque state of the body, you could still see the fear in the man's face. <sighs> I think we may have found Mr. Hammerstrom. Does he match any sort of description we've received about hair color, anything like that? Well, did we receive a description even? I'll, I'll go forward and search the clothes to see if there's any identification. Ah, well, you do come up across uh, this note. Give me a moment, and I will tell you what note it is. It's his driving uh, license. Uh, uh, Doug, it is picture number 72. <laughs> to Mr. <laughs> Hammerstrom. Meet, Meet me at the church after dark. after dark. I have some words that may help you in your endeavour. Regards. Nice. That... Uh, <gasps> I, Nystrom. My, my cousin. Not, that looks like a V to me, actually. <laughs> it's a fancy I. Um, Victor. Victor. <laughs> it is I. <laughs> Hello, it is you. Gotten away with it too, if it hadn't been for this meddling kid. Pull my mask off. <laughs> it was me all along. Uh, you were the kraken too, weren't you? Uh, how did you find out? <laughs> <laughs> Subtle clue. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Um. That does seem a little uh, incriminating. Yes, mm. Victor. I don't know exactly how you want to deal with this. This is your family after all, but this doesn't look good. I agree. I, I'm quite angry from earlier. Um, I'm also angry that the fact this, this person has been torn to pieces. Um, it, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn to Lady England and say, um, if I may take the liberty, my lady, I'm going to take the body to the church so it can rest in peace whilst we decide what to do with it. I don't know how much peace or how, or how many pieces we'll find at the church, but yes, I do believe that that is a good start. Okay. I'll, I'll pick up the body um, as I'll, best I can. I'll pick up the bits that fall onto the ground as you, uh, <laughs> as you pick them up. Put them back on the top. There's the jaw. <laughs> Place that on there as a foot. I don't know how that came off. Uh, it's losing some of the grandeur and solemnity of the moment, but yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I'll I'll carry him and place him on a table or something in the uh, in the church. Uh, what well, I would suggest uh, shall we go back to the map uh, of the church, which is. Uh... <laughs> 
There we go. 66. Yep. Uh, so you've got uh, the, the pews here. These pews up here are at a slightly higher level. And so they're sort of out of the way and slightly hidden from casual people going to church. So I suggest you lay them alongside one of those. Yeah. Or put him in the sacristy or lay him across the altar. It's up to you entirely. <laughs> <laughs> we'll Probably queue, not across the altar. That doesn't I think wherever's the like most... Smart idea. Are there kind of like just sort of wooden tables that have church leaflets and stuff on them as you no. go in? You've no. seen them, okay. Pat. You've seen all the furniture there. Every, everything that's on <laughs> in the church is on the map. Okay. Yeah. Um, I know Robin Laws says maps just limit you. Well, consider yourself limited. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do consider myself limited, Matthew. Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to carry the body down towards the altar and I'm going to lay it on the floor um, at the bottom of the steps. Right. Not, uh, not actually on the altar. I'm not just dropping him in a corner. This is supposed to be like respectful and mm -hmm. having him rest. You know, we're not just dumping a body here. We're, we're trying to be respectful okay, towards well. the person so, who But everybody's going to see it when they come in. Yeah, I think that's fine. Mm. <laughs> Unless Lady Inga says otherwise. Maybe it's not. Mm. I wonder uh, if Inga should have some privacy to perform some examination on this body before I we... would love to perform an examination on this body. Before we leave it That's here. That's a good idea. Okay, well, Discarded. make a medicine roll, um, Inga. All right, let's do it. This is at a six. I I'll help you by lifting bits of uh, body part off the floor. That have dropped off. To turn and like lift and adjust so I can see at all sides. Uh, do I get a bonus die for that? For an assist? Probably if not. he's helping, yes. Then I am I'll, 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 I'll assist you by dabbing your forehead with my handkerchief. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Magnuson, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> I have one success. Thank you. One for success. Assist. Okay. Well, uh, for one success, um, you know, you, you're, you've got to get past the decomposition that's happened. Mm -hmm. You're going to get past the damage that the crows have done, but it is obvious that the wounds that killed the man are from a large predator. <sighs> Were you not a member of the society, you would assume that it was a bear or a wolf maybe, but it would be a big wolf. Um, given that you are members of the society and you've read up on Vason, then you do believe it could be, from the descriptions of the church grim, uh, a church grim or a werewolf or something of that sort of scale. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. <sighs> yes, this is, um, this is definitely by something more than a beast. It so is now getting dark. So I guess the question for us which we might already have answered by bringing the body in here, is do we kind of just confront the village about this and tell them, or do we try and I hide the fact we've found this body? And while I'm loath to say this in the house of God, um, perhaps we should not frighten everyone quite yet. Lead them to believe it was a predator which it was, and she's like looking up at the rafters and she's kind <laughs> of alluding to lying right now and is afraid of being attacked. Is, so, is, I'm not sure, Lady Inga, that lying is one of the deadly sins, is it? <laughs> one of the seven? not a deadly, but still, I would say not good. <laughs> um, and, but perhaps we didn't believe it wasn't a predator while we investigate more about the predator. If I, if I may um, take the liberty, uh, I, I wonder if the entire village knows exactly what's going on. And the only people who don't really know what's going on, although we do now, is us. That is true. And suddenly we're outnumbered. Concerning, concerning mm. thought. Because certainly your uncle's involved in it, Father Victor, your cousin. Oh, he's he seems uh, implicated, doesn't he not? Um, I think uh, it'd be, it would be worthy uh, to to confront him at some point, um, but maybe not right now. Perhaps if we, perhaps the way we approach this, is we say we found the body. He's been mauled by a predator. And we say we found this note and ask what his final words were, that they may be recorded. 
Because I guess in the, too much. in the theory, we've done our job, haven't we? Because we've said we've come up here to find this person and we found him. <laughs> yeah, we go home now. But actually, in, in theory, as far as what we've told the villagers, our job is done. That is true. We could um, demand justice for this person and say we mm. will hunt this bear or wolf. Mm. Um, is, is there lots of blood and gore all over the church now? So even if we picked him up and tried to take the body out, it's a bit late. Uh, I, I think rigor mortis had set in. Right, possibly. right. Uh, so um, the blood is Not, dried. No blood, yeah. No, it's, um... So we could... Where are we going to hide him? We could no, make no. off with the body. <laughs> Weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> Where's the nearest travel lodge when you need one? Um... We would just put him back in the woods, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't seem quite like mm. the right thing to do. But no, not, uh, no. not sure what else. Um, I, 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 I'm angry, obviously, about all of this. And I, so, um, um, Lady Inga, if I may take the liberty, uh, I feel I need to um, have a few moments outside to calm down. I, I think that'd be good. And she puts a hand on him and she's like, do find some peace. We will get to the bottom of this and justice will be served. But I need you um, in your best mind in order to do this. Thank you. And I'll just go outside and take the air and try and calm down a bit. It's getting quite late. It's getting quite dark, even in this nor northern summer. As you stand outside, it's getting quite cold. Victor, what do you think we should do with this body? Do I don't think there's any good late? answer to that question. <laughs> I feel like going back home, home where we're staying and sleeping and letting someone else discover the body in the middle of the church is a bad move. <laughs> <laughs> it um, doesn't seem smart, does it? No. Um, so the only real thing I can think of to do right now is to, unfortunately, wake your cousin, ask him, let him know that we found the body on our walk. And I think we must convince him that uh, we believe it just to be some wild animal and not any uh, anything not allude there. to any further knowledge. Mm. If he knows that we know, then the whole town will know that we know. I think alluding to that is a good idea. August, what are your thoughts? She's I think this pickle the Oh, you're the right. <laughs> <laughs> you have his last dinner. And this bread. Uh, did you bake it yourself? Is what August thinks. Yeah. <laughs> These are good thoughts. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, in that case, let's go talk we'll, to your cousin. Uh, yes, we're going to let him. We'll tell him uh, we've brought the body here and, and uh, we'll make it very clear that we believe, uh, well, that you, your your doctorly, not doctorly knowledge has provided you with the answer that it is indeed An a wild animal. Structure. Yes. Yeah. Very well. Okay, so you head to you know you know where the um, the vicarage is. It's quite close to the church anyway, mm -hmm. and you'd seen August heading off in that way when you guys came out for your walk. So um, you, you you leave the body in the church, right? Yes. And you go straight to yeah. the vicarage and you say, well, the, 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 the vicar's housekeeper opens the door and says, I, you looking for your friend? Yes, she's, um, she's eating quite a lot of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> she was obviously really quite hungry. We did travel for quite some time today. Ah, I see. Um, um, yes. Uh, uh, do you need to see the vicar at all? Yes. Yes, uh, we were hoping to see, to see, uh, to see him. She she leads you into the parlour, and um, shortly afterwards, the vicar and uh, August return. Um, August, you're feeling quite replete. If you'd had any conditions now, I'd say get you know take him off now. Yeah. Um, what are you saying to the vicar? Uh, Ingvar, I'm uh, I'm sure you are not expecting to meet us once again so soon. Um, 
we we were we were having a uh, stroll around the churchyard, you know, taking in the sights of the town, when we we um, happened upon uh, um, a strange smell, and upon investigation, we believe we've found the corpse of Mr. Hammerstrom. Um, uh, Inga, the doctor will tell you uh, more. Um, I am quite sorry to bear this news. Unfortunately, we did find the body, and it looks like he has been mauled by a predator of some kind. The he size seems of a bear, perhaps. Genuinely interested, uh, and not surprised. Um, but um, uh, genuinely concerned uh, about the remains. And he says, uh, oh, and, and what, what, what have you done with the body? For uh, his family will want to know his fate, and, uh, and I'm sure they will want to make the appropriate arrangements. Um, uh, well, we, uh, we were not sure where to, where to take him, and so we took him to the church first. Uh, which is currently where he lays. He thinks, hmm, that is probably wise. Uh, I, I'm, I'm so sorry. The... You, you don't seem to be surprised. Well, why is that? Uh, I was certainly missing. surprised to um, find the body. Uh, I, I, I feared some fate had happened to him. Uh, I am I am just uh, genuinely pleased that uh, you have uncovered th the fate itself and um, and uh, at least been able to um, bring this terribly sad tale uh, to an end at least for his family. Although I'm sure they will will suffer upon hearing the news. And your employer, uh, this man, um, Mayor, he, he sent you out of concern mm -hmm. for, for the fellow. So he will be very pleased as well, I'm sure, to hear that. He, well, sad, mm -hmm. but uh, at least he knows the fate of his employee. Certainly. Um, perhaps we should uh, hunt this predator as it has, it may have some kind of foaming illness as uh, the other employee is obviously suffering. Maybe, maybe that is, um, uh, that should be something. You know, um, we do have uh, a very accomplished huntswoman at this village. Mm. She's rather young, but she is an excellent <laughs> shot. Oh, I, I do believe I've heard of her. Her name begins with a, a D, right? Delia? Uh, just reminding myself, no, Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina. Her mother is Dorothea. Mm. Dorothea. But Wilhelmina Skit, she is the uh, the accomplished archer in the family. Hmm. Perhaps we will have to speak with her. In the morning, of course, it is late, and I'm sorry yes. if we have disturbed you at such an hour. We just I didn't want you course, to hide the body and be frightened. I, I will go across the church and lock the door so that uh, no uh, scavengers get in. Oh, and nobody's surprised by the presence of a body if, mm. they, if they come to church before. Would you I like an you escort? For uh, there's by a all means, great speed. it is getting dark, and um, and you tell me this this uh, this body was not far from the graveyard. No, quite close. So it suggests whatever creature uh, took him is is not afraid of human habitation. Mm -mm. I'm very grateful. Will you send your man with me? Ah, uh, yes, Magnuson. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have I, well, at what point do I get rid of my condition? Is that is that like a night's sleep or something? Or um, I we'll we'll come back to it. I'll I'll look in the rules. No, fine. So um, that's fine. Um, I'm reading, yeah. Yes. I'm I'm suppressing it obviously because Lady Inga has given me a task. Mm -hmm. I won't show it. <clears throat> if so, you of course. Mind. Uh, we were. It would be my pleasure, Lady Inga, as long as you remain with Father Victor and um, Lady August mm. we'll for your own for safety. You we'll wait for you here. That way you don't have to go far by yourself. And then we'll go. all go back to Murta's together for some rest. Perfect. 
Sounds like an excellent plan, my lady. <sighs> okay, I'll go with them. Um, with Ingvar. You're going to need um, somebody to do either medicine for physical conditions or inspiration for mental conditions on you. Okay. Is that... And a night's sleep, does that get rid of it? Uh, no, I don't think so. No? Okay. Somebody needs to inspire me. Come on, I, guys. Um, inspire I me. do have this uh, <laughs> talent called Absolution. Um, I don't know quite how it works, but it says a player character who confesses to me heals three conditions instead of two. So. Well, so if you I... use your, your inspiration and, uh, and Magnuson talks over the incident with you and confesses his feelings then normally that would that would heal two conditions if he had two mental conditions okay. if you use absolution obviously it would heal three okay when my talk before at the church telling him to take a walk take a breath i needed him at his best so that we could solve this um would that count as like an inspiration being like oh I if you to, make I, an inspiration roll i'll let you make that okay. inter uh, retrospectively all right cool that's exactly the sort of thing awesome I've only got three dice for this, but we'll find out what happens. Oh, I got one success. Very well. One condition is removed. How many have you got, Magnuson? I uh, only had one. <clears throat> Excellent. Perfect. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll go with yeah. Father Ingvar. Um, do you want to make an observation Sorry. roll as you go with him? Um, yeah, I'm keeping an eye on him, and I'm keeping an eye around because I'm. I think we are kind of. We've only been here a couple of hours, and we're making a bit of a, <laughs> a bit of a scene. The name, yeah. Um, I gain one success on observation. Okay, if that that's looking at him, and your assessment of him is genuinely, he is concerned about the body. He's not feeling being caught he has no guilt in any of his actions he simply goes to the church locks the door he quickly looks in into the um uh, into <clears throat> the church to see where the body okay. is but he comes out locks the door um as we're, as we're walking showing concern for the spirit of the son of god right um as we're walking i'm going to say to him did you have any did you did you meet mr hammerstrom uh, yes, I think I, uh, I I I told your, um, your your employer a little bit before we met uh, um, one or two times. He uh, he's very keen on on buying the village, and um, I'm not convinced uh, that the village is the sort of place that uh, quite has uh, what he's looking for in terms of forestry. Yeah. But I'm a man of God, I don't know. Did you strike up a, a friendship with him? Did you get to know him a little bit? I would not say a friendship. I, he, he obviously wanted to form a good relationship with me. If, uh, if he's going to convince all the villagers here to sell their shares in the lands hereabouts, then um, to have me on side would be... Um, mm. you know, so he was uh, try, trying, I'm sure, to... Uh, Convince me that it would be for the benefit of the village as a whole. Of course, an important man like you would would carry a lot of weighted influence around here. Can I just just for 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 us filling the the blanks for his poor family? Can I just ask when did you last see him? Um, uh, some time uh, ago. Uh, I'm not entirely clear as GM, but um, <laughs> he says something to you about the timing that doesn't suggest it's just before. Um, yeah. Uh, the man got eaten. Uh, and had and uh, and had there been any plans or any any sort of meetings planned or any town discussions? Um, uh, he may have been planning one, but I I was not aware of any great uh, discussion to be to be had. Flying Thank very you. close to the sun here, Magnuson. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to catch him out in a lie, which I think I have done. <laughs> so, <clears throat> but I'm not going to challenge him myself, so I guess we're probably back by 
Yeah. So your you, uh, you know your two successes on that observation role. You don't just one success, like, Matt. Oh, so one success. Okay, right. maybe he was like I don't know. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> Five successes. Yes. No. Okay. <laughs> and if you want to look around, so the observation is about people. If you're generally looking around at what's going on, that's a vigilance test. Right. Okay. Which I'm not. Um, I'm, I'm even. I'll try it. I'm. I'm very bad at it, but I'll try. Um, no successes. Do I want to take a <laughs> get angry again? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not going to. No. Uh, okay, so I've only got, was, only got three. You are anyway. somewhat surprised by uh, as you're walking back from the forest. You're um, back from the church to the vicarage. Out of the forest, suddenly a young woman appears, uh, pulling back her hood that she she had on, uh, she to reveal bright ginger hair. She's carrying uh, over her back. Uh, that's the one, Doug. Uh, <laughs> over her shoulder, she's got a bow over one shoulder and a couple of rabbits over the other sh um, shoulder. She surprised you and shot you this late at night. But she doesn't shot the vicar at all. Uh, she smiles cheerily to you both and um, says, not, not a good night tonight, but a couple of rabbits for the pot, she says, and then walks past the vicarage and heads off to her house. Uh, I'll, I'll say, um, young lady, be careful. We fear there may be bears around here. Oh, she turns and uh, uh, introduces herself. I, I I have not met you. My name is Dorothea Skit. No, sorry, no. My name is Wilhelmina Skit. It's a wonderful pleasure. I've heard your name, um, uh, Miss Wilhelmina. I am Magnuson, and I am the, the servant to Lady Inga, who is um, currently here on, uh, on, on business. Hmm. Very well, very well. It's a pleasure to meet you. You must come and visit. My mother will be very pleased to see you. It would be um, a pleasure. Perhaps tomorrow morning or tomorrow uh, sometime? Tomorrow in the morning, I, I shall tell her to expect you. And she points uh, okay. out her house, which is the big house on the, on the road. Right, then uh, you come back into the vicarage. Yeah. It really is bedtime now. <clears throat> so tired. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll fill everybody in on on all of that on the way back to uh, back to Murta's house, and that um, Lady Inga, um, uh, I've inadvertently got you an invite to um, visit the the Skits house tomorrow morning. Oh, for all of us, of course. But uh, um, having run into young Wilhelmina Skit um, running out of the woods at a very late hour for a young lady, I would say. Yeah. Magnuson, you are always a step ahead, even on accident. Thank you. <laughs> let us let us go to bed, and we can visit them on the morrow. Excellent plan. As you reach uh, uh, your lodgings, the lights are still on, but it's coming up to midnight, and behind you you hear a single peal of the bell Dong, in the church tower. I don't know if I should turn around. Should I turn around? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to turn around. <laughs> this, there's nobody in the church, is there? Nope. Very strange. It's locked. You, you saw him lock the door. I did see him lock the I didn't see the body, but Dr. Inger, are you sure it was dead? I am quite sure, August. We could have used him as a hat stand. Right. But we wouldn't right. have. No, but... <laughs> sorry, he, he, sorry, my lady. He was, he was a bit torn. <laughs> there were bits. Mm. Um... When uh, the door is opened to you, uh, do we do we want to go back and investigate this bell? 
Murta, uh, Murta best says, not to. <laughs> come inside, come inside. And she looks a little worried, a little concerned. Does the does it ring by itself often? Is that come inside. Night? Just just come inside and uh, and and sit uh, welcoming. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stand behind Lady Inga and say, I suggest we go inside, my lady. And I'm putting my hand on my pistol. Of course, let's. And I'll hurry up the stairs and inside. Yeah. <laughs> and she says, um, and she looks genuinely worried. And she says, there's a story hereabouts that when the church bell tolls at midnight, somebody is going to die. For he whom the bell tolls. <clears throat> that is a terrifying tale. So I am pleased as soon is as it... I heard the bell toll, I was concerned for all of your safety. And I was so pleased I came out here to see where you were. You were you've been gone so long. And there you were just outside the front door. I'm very relieved to find you here. How how were your investigations? Let me let me make a cup of chamomile tea for everyone, oh, and you, you can tell me about how things have gone. Um, yes. If 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 I may take the liberty, my lady, I I I should make the tea as the servant here. What? What a gentleman! My housekeeper's gone to bed, but uh, you you know where the kitchens are, uh, don't you? The there is a red tin. Uh, on the tea shelf at the left hand end now by which i mean the right hand end, the right hand end of the shelf <laughs> and uh you will find in there some chamomile tea okay yeah i'll go and have a look um i'm gonna i'm gonna whisper to inga on the but as i leave just saying um we might she obviously believes this story my lady it's doesn't seem to be just a story yes and then i'll go to the kitchen um I'll sit down and be distressed. Uh, and so has this happened before? The bell tolled and someone died? Of what, a heart attack? The bell tolled before the man you are looking for, Hammerstrom, went missing. We found Hammerstrom. Alive, she says? Uh, no which gives your story some credibility. On what day did the bell toll? Um, some time ago, I can't remember my time. <laughs> just, just a timeline line up to where, like, what he, when his decomposition She tells you a day up. of which, yes, the midnight before Hammerstrom mm -hmm. went missing, um, the bell had tolled. Oh. Well, who do you think it'll take this time? I mean, we're all here. <gasps> Niles. I, I, I feared for your safety, uh, Niles. But uh, the he, man he in, the, left... in the in the isn't he in the sawmill? Uh, no, the the so, oh. uh, mayor took you to the sawmill, his big industrial sawmill oh, back no in Hammersmith. Oh, okay, <clears throat> my bad. Um, I thought it was this sawmill. Yeah. No, okay. No, no, no. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Wow. Well, hopefully we'll rise tomorrow and uh, everyone will be tea, fine. You've made the tea and... Um, I'm checking it to make sure there's nothing it, fishy it, about genuine it. Genuine chamomile tea. Whew, yeah. God, you're so suspicious of me as a GM. <laughs> <laughs> and you're the player that was tainting me in our Legends of the Five Rings. <laughs> For about seven years. <laughs> about seven years. If I'm going to put something in your seat, Dave, you'll know about um. it. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll hurry back with the tea and I'll serve Lady Inga first. And um, then Mrs. Carl's, what's her name is? Karlstrom, and then Miss August, and then Father Victor. Very well. Um, so you... Um, so how were your investigations? What You found the body, you say? Yes. And where is it now? It is at the church now. We wanted to lay him to rest as much as possible before a service can be had. And did it have any clues? 
If there was, he, it, it appears that he was mauled. By a bear? By something large. I'm worried that whatever it is has a sickness to it, as the poor man who survived the encounter has not been acting himself. No, no other clues at all. What would you expect to find? I, 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 I only read novels such as the ones that you write, uh, detective novels and things like that. And very often there is a, a bit of cloth ripped from the clothes of the butler. Uh, forgive me, Magnus, I don't mean to say uh, that you you're, for, you're forgiven, my lady. Uh, yes, the butler was the bad guy in the last novel I wrote. Uh, yes. And was, that, was that after I shot you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this this is the Fair origin enough. of Fair the enough. butler did it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, Unfortunately, real life is not quite as exciting as August's books. Uh, very well. Um, can somebody, one of you, make an observation roll? I will. I will do it. I've got lots of observations. Uh, pile of observations coming your way. And, uh, uh, well, I mean, obviously I failed. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, I'm going to push it for some reason. So when I push it, I just uh, re-roll all of them. You re-roll all the dice, yes, in this game. Um, that uh, aren't sixes and already. I, I, I get... Um, uh, I'm going to say I get a bit condition. frightened. I'm, okay. be a, I'm a bit frightened okay. by that bell tolling. And uh, the fear attunes me to one success. One success. You think that little exchange there about... Um, detective novels and and things you got a sneaking suspicion that she's not telling the whole truth <gasps> she planted it hmm. Hmm. I, I i want to sort of uh give uh, my companions the eye the eye of <laughs> something <laughs> going on here uh, subtly across the table I'll sigh dramatically and press a hand to my forehead. If there was a clue, it was quite ravaged by crows. They might have taken it. Yes, it has been some time since you went missing. Um, did you did you introduce yourselves to the Skits? Such a lovely family. Only briefly to young. Miss late Miss Vilamina. Vilamina, you you met her as well. So but we have a, we have an we have an invite to theirs for the brunch, I guess. Uh, for brunch, yeah. <laughs> Elevenses. No, that's for English. Coffee, isn't it? you mean? Okay. For coffee. <laughs> this new thing from well, Stockholm. Brunch. For 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 Pepper Cocker and uh, Glurg. <laughs> very well, very well. Uh, they 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 do make some nice. Pepper Cocker. <laughs> I'm sure you yeah. know what you're talking about. Ginger, ginger, ginger biscuits. Ginger absolutely biscuits. Brilliant. Oh, yes. Yeah, so yeah, I know yeah. what we're talking about. Yeah. Absolutely delicious. Um, uh, well, it is well. So what, what has taken you so long? I, I, I imagine finding the body and examining it. Uh, where, where is it stored now? What have you done with it? Is it in the uh, village hall? No, no. It's, it's in the church. Oh, in the church? Yes. And... and um, uh, and uh, Father Father Nystrom was um, he was happy about that. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. He was. He's fine with it. <laughs> well, the other. Oh, the oh, other, the other um, one. Yeah. Both, the other of one. <laughs> Both of them were. were ah. Yes. Yes. Uh, but every everybody was was satisfied that 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 was the best place to to keep the dead body right up until the bell rang. Mm. Um. When um. When the bell is—is is this only the second time it's rang? Uh no, it is. It is a legend hereabouts. Th this and legend. And does and does somebody die every time? Yeah. Well, 
people are dying all the time, obviously, of old age. But uh, but the stories do go that it is the um, that it the priest, you know, he um, he was, I think, not a fan of uh, uh, of uh, this man von Meyer. He um, he detests people like this, rich people who think that they, uh, they're they gods capable of conquering nature. Um, I, I, I'm sure he was no, no friend to Hammerstrom, but I, I don't think he would have anything to do with the bell tolling or, um, or the unfortunate end that you say I, Hammerstrom Did met with the bear. Did, did Mr. Hammerstrom um, offer, offer you, um, uh, you know, get money for to, to, to buy your property here? Of course, yes. He's, he made a very, um, a, a very generous offer for the sawmill. And and were you accepting that offer? If you, no, you I don't told mind my him that I would think about it. Hmm. Tradition's a hard thing to break. It is very much, you know, it's been in the family for some time. I I feel I've managed it very well. Mm. Uh, it is some, it's my pride and joy, I, I, I think um, I could say. I, I'm reluctant history. to sell, but the offer was very good. It is worth consideration. I um I pull out my notebook and I just ask like you know as I'm to was the sawmill here before or or after the church? Oh no no no! I think the church is uh, one of the oldest buildings here in the um, in the village. Yes, and and this house is after as well. Uh, yes, um, probably. Oh, maybe maybe this house is older than the church, actually, if I'm thinking about it. Yes. But the sawmill um, is, is relatively recent. It's less than 100 years old. Oh, yes. And we used to have a pit. Once upon a time, there'd be two men, one in a pit, a great tree across them, and they'd have a saw on each side. One stands in the pit and saws up and down, and the other one stands on the tree and saws up and down. All done manually and uh, we have a fabulous water wheel here it still has the human touch but um but far more efficient than two men in a pit mm. yes and how old is the church how long has that been here oh i'd say almost 200 years we have a sort of a uh we, in in some places, the, the the Lord of the land builds a church for the village. Uh, here, we we all we all feel, and indeed some of us actually do own parts of this forest, and so we uh, get together as a. Well, you come from society. You mentioned we have a sort of society here in the village that uh, each each person contributes what they can to any great project uh, and I think the church was built in in that sort of way with um... mm. in my book I write old ancient society and, <laughs> and circle it <laughs> gotta get your ideas going yeah um, and uh, I think at, at this point I might excuse myself and go to bed very well. Yeah. Is that what everybody else is doing? It's gone midnight. Yeah. Mm. Um, I uh, when we when we leave um, this uh, this person, uh, I want to say to to the group and um, well, oh yeah, to the group. Uh, remember how we uh, st stuck together on that night on the island. Mm -hmm. um, I'm wondering if that might be a wise a wise idea again. I'm uh, I'm a little bit uh, scared about this uh, 
the nature of this beast and and uh, for whom the bell is tolling tonight. <laughs> At least it didn't ring four times. That's true. <laughs> that would have been really yes. quite really worrying. Yeah, hopefully it's just one of you, but you know it might be me. So. <laughs> Do you think any of us have done something to warrant the beast coming after us? Uh, well, they mentioned sin. I suppose it doesn't have to be a deadly sin. Maybe any kind of sin. But I haven't sinned tonight, Father. What about you? Obviously, I have not sinned. <laughs> you yeah, think a about lot it, of cheese. <laughs> and, uh, I did tell a fib in the presence of... Holy man. As you uh, head into your rooms, can I get you to make a? Well, are you, Inga? You make a vigilance roll in your room, okay. and uh, one of the three of you make a vigilance roll. Well, I think roll. I'm certainly going to go with Inga into her room first to make sure the room's okay. Very well. Uh, My vigilance is awful. Are you good at vigilance, Magnuson? No, not really. All right, I've got this. Three um, dice, me, here we go. I've got three dice too. Yeah, can I, I can I can I offer a die yes, help? I'm sure that's the sort of reason that you like to <clears throat> bust into the room. August, are you a yeah. vigilant person? I well, I don't have anything in vigilance, but I have four logic. I think hmm. uh, I think your logic might see us through here. Okay. I'll help you. Okay. Oh. Poke around the room. <laughs> I, I um, look under the bed. Yeah, I'm. I think I'm going to push it. I'll. I will push <clears> that. <throat> I will be frightened because I'm frightened <laughs> of what happens if we don't get a, a success. <laughs> um, and I do. I get one success. Um, you have a sneaking suspicion that, that somebody has been going through your. Belongings uh, in both rooms. Um, well, I failed my check, okay. so I have no clue. What did you do with your pistol, Magnuson? Oh, I'm carrying it. <laughs> You're carrying it. Um, had, is there anything you think that might be missing from your uh, your equipment list that you left in the room? Um, possibly, possibly more there. notebooks. I've got, oh, my equipment consists of notebooks and quills and inks. That's my equipment. So my equipment is basically all the stuff I need to make Lady Inga comfortable and in the right state for an overnight stay. Well, August, you're a very scruffy sort of person, mm -hmm. um, generally. So you generally normally wouldn't notice if somebody had been going through your stuff. But you are very particular about your notebooks and the order in which they're kept. And they are mm -hmm. out of order. I will. Um, I will check to, first of all to see if they they are all there, um, and then and then turn around to to Victor and be like, somebody's somebody's rifling through our things. Are all your things still here? Are they just after my next novel? <laughs> um, uh, you know, obviously, I I didn't notice any. Uh... <laughs> anything um, I, I i don't have many things to go through i've only got you know my bible basically is it <laughs> so, still there uh i, I sort of open my one open of the... my bag and i'm assuming my bible is still in there and and the holy water that i keep oh, um, well actually you notice the holy water's not there <gasps> the holy water's missing does that mean you can't bless the gun without holy water? Or can you do that anyway? Uh, there are many ways to bless an item. <laughs> Some I more will, effective than others. I will um, uh, uh, make my way down the hall and, and, and be like, Magnuson, Magnuson, have you moved things? <laughs> Magnuson would never. Not without your permission, um, Lady August. Well... Well, Victor's holy water's gone, and somebody's been reading my notebooks. There's nothing out of place in Lady Inga's room that I can tell. And obviously, I'm quite particular about where I put yeah. all the perfumes and soaps and everything else. Hmm. 
you can feel that anger rising if there is something out, out of place and you haven't spotted it you feel that's a personal <laughs> thing <laughs> <laughs> terrible. terrible the one thing i can't live with i can live with this <laughs> and monsters but i can't live with putting a bit of perfume out of place so it's quite well. disconcerting. Uh, what's the what was the name of the the lady of this house Karlstrom. Uh, Marta Karlstrom. Marta Karlstrom. Perhaps, <laughs> perhaps she's been uh, having a, a peek in our belongings. Are you going well, to challenge her now or in the morning? Or at all, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I wonder if we challenge her on the basis that a member of her staff has been rifling through our stuff rather than immediately insulting, uh, accusing her. Smart, smart idea, Magnuson. Clearly, it's it's an outrageous and egregious crime for a servant to do that. Um, Enormous breach hmm. of, uh, of trust. Perhaps in the morning. Perhaps, Perhaps if we morning. rest first. Let's calm our nerves to make sure we can approach this at the best possible perspective. And um, survive the night, everyone. <laughs> High hopes. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I look I, frightened. If I, if, I, if I may take the liberty, perhaps um, Father Victor's suggestion of uh, a reprisal of that night on the island might not be an unwise an unwise move for this evening. Whichever is the more secure of these two rooms. If you think that's best, Magnuson, then I, of course, will join. Though, yeah, as I, I recall, gonna... on the island, that didn't help at all. <laughs> didn't help at all. <laughs> well, it did, it did I help. I wasn't going to bring that up. Inga. Again, if I, if I may take the liberty, it did help in that we knew that August was going and we were able to at least to give chase, even if we were we were slow in doing so. If she'd been in a room on her own, we would never have known. How about Fair I just enough. tie my leg to the bed? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put you all out of your misery here. You have a decent night's sleep. Oh. There, are no <laughs> there are no weird dreams. We and spend... everybody wakes up the next morning in the place where they're meant to be. And alive. You. And alive. Other otherwise, we spend <laughs> three hours of the evening arguing over where we go to sleep. Yeah, <laughs> Which is great really fun, but it might not be very good video. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is what you've done to us, Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> It's your fault, Matt. No, but nobody's but you. Paranoid. Paranoid individuals now. So, um, yes, what, uh, are you uh, challenging Myrta or are you going to visit the skits or what's your plan in the morning? I, I think we should uh, do what Magnuson said and uh, suggest that one of the servants has been rifling through our stuff and and gauge her reaction as you as you deliver yeah. this information okay um, um can, can i just ask i, I, I do stay to... uh, i do stay frightened overnight do i i have to something has to happen to stop being frightened yes you, somebody needs to inspire you okay. so so august over breakfast will take out her notebook and and look at you victor say you're looking a little pale Father, you is everything okay? Normally you see so so sure of yourself. What whatever is the matter? You startle me when you when you say that and I, I spill my uh hot drink <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> I start um, to clear uh, up I clear up the hot drink and <laughs> pat down any wetness that he's got. <laughs> so, and I go, hmm? huh? what? <laughs> so um she will she will inquire as to, to what troubled you and does the does the the faith and your your belief in in God and His His righteousness, not power. And I record all these these weaknesses and and secrets in my notebook, but also um, in, try to try to inspire you with it um, by by challenging your reminding you of your faith and and not to be afraid. Can I can I do that as an inspire role? Okay, make that inspire. Yeah, that's a good yeah. role. 
Um, it's a good role. It's also feeding into my secret duck secret. Um, yeah. Three. Um, what have we got there? Three. Seven. Oh, that's a good one. One, two, three, four. One success. Right, you can get rid of your um your frightened. Yay. I I find comfort in your words, clearly. Hurrah. I write them all down in my book <laughs> to become some sort of character in a future novel. Right. Um, uh, Myrta is uh, breakfasting with you and uh, observes all this with some uh, um, gentle smile. Uh, mm -hmm. As far as I'm aware, nobody has said anything about uh, the... Um, I'm going to say it. Okay. I'm going to drop, drop that truth bomb. <laughs> so, yes, I say, I, I, I look, sort of look around and I wait till, I sort of make it obvious that I'm waiting till there are no servants in the room at the time and say, uh, as I went to bed last night, I noticed that uh, my holy water had been, uh, was missing from my, my luggage. And uh, I don't suppose it's possible that one of your, your servants. I mean, I don't miss. I don't wish to 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 cast aspersions on your house, but is it possible one of your servants may have uh, may have taken it? Okay. Could you? I ask you to. Um, okay. No. I'll tell you what. She she responds, and she says, um, "I don't think that's very likely." Um, what time of day? Oh, you were away most of the day, weren't you? But uh, you're uh, the only time that my servants went into the room. Uh, Magnuson was with them. We're arranging the uh, arranging uh, your colleague uh, Inga's uh, somewhat better room. I eh? I don't think so. No, 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 no. Um, now, forgive me. It is rude to say this with no evidence. But I did have a visit from young Wilhelmina yesterday, and she is a curious girl. I wonder whether it was her that went through your luggage. Can I get you to make an observation roll? Yes. Victor. Okay. Yeah. Inga's okay. so suspect of that. <laughs> Do you want to chuck uh, Victor a dice? I would love to chuck Victor a dice. She's just like. Uh, I have one success. Uh, she seems to be telling the truth. Whatever, whatever's <clears throat> Inga's, uh, <laughs> the uh, the suspicious look on Inga's face. Just confused. Just confused. What kind of yeah. person does such a thing? And I and I say um, oh, perhaps, perhaps I uh, forgive me for 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 meant for you know. Bring your servants into this. So I'll uh, be sure to, to bring it up when we uh, when we uh, go to meet her this morning. Yes, yes. Uh, so, what are your plans for the day uh, apart from meeting uh, the skits? Uh, well, that is our plans for the day right now. I believe. Well, so, well, so I, have a day with them. I'm not sure that they. Uh... I'm certainly <laughs> curious as to see if. Anyone went missing last night after the bell toll? Weren't we going to hunt the beast? That depends on but how our conversation goes with Wilhelmina. <laughs> but have you heard anything, Myrta? No, no, there's been no news here. Uh, it, as, it is only a legend. I'm, I was worried for your safety last night. I was maybe a little bit exaggerating. I'm sure no harm shall befall you or anyone in the village. Mm. I'm imagining a scene of mm. carnage as we open this front door. It's the whole of <laughs> the village. Of, hundreds of dead villages. <laughs> Entrails everywhere. The only when... person that we've really interacted with is your cousin, Father Victor. Mm -hmm. So, could it be that 
Father Ingvar has done something to anger the church grim. Perhaps. I feel, let, 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 should we should we perhaps go to the church first? I, um, I think that might be a good idea, just to at least check on the, you know, is it still locked? And we won't be able to get in without the key, of course. Doug, can, um, there are can always we bring ways the church map up again? Um, as you approach the church, you can see at the bottom of this map a uh, sort of uh, a grand staircase leading up to the, the main doors of the church. Mm -hmm. mm. There is a bloody heap on yeah. those steps. Fresh bloody heap. Fresh bloody heap and oh. hanging from one of the great door knockers on the doors is a severed hand ripped from its arm, still clutching the door knocker. Uh, Inga's going to rush forward to figure Can out. Can I get everybody oh. to make a fear roll? That please, makes sense. With a one. So yeah. can you remind me, how do I make a fear roll, Matthew? Yeah. Uh, so you decide whether you're going to come Con, um, uh, which, which of your mental stats you're going to um, you're going to fight the fear with? You can either do it through your wits, empathy, um, or logic, presumably. Or your then. logic, yeah, your logic or your empathy, and you roll just that, and you need to get as many successes as the fear okay. factor I've given you, which is one. <clears throat> I okay. have a question. One of the things that I took when I leveled up was the army medic. So I get yes. plus two to fear test when fighting by dead or damaged human bodies. No, nope, the... that that you get that plus two. Cool. Perfect. I also took the loyal talent, which means I get plus two on my fear test if I am in the presence of, of the person Inga, yes. whom I've sworn to protect. Yep, yep. Do you get that plus two too? So I didn't what take any noise? such talent, and I failed. <laughs> so I got two successes. I only got a single success. Well, that's good enough. Okay. Uh, and and Magnuson, that's great. <laughs> no, uh, you guys... August and... <laughs> No, no. We we need new compatriots, Lady Inga. If I don't take the liberty. Is your cousin, who you were oh, almost no. accusing of murder? So uh, this is quite a shocking. I think it's perfectly feasible. Very that, shocking, Victor. You were uh, you have been. Um, so shocked by this i'm just trying to remember what we do with um these roles so you have a choice mm -hmm. you can flee the scene you can freeze you can faint away entirely or you can attack <laughs> um you take one of those options you roll a dice and that is all you do for the next x turns were this a conflict that would be a big thing as it is. We won't, you know, yeah. chance are however high you roll, eventually you'll turn it over. Uh, last time I fled and that worked very well. So this time I'm going to freeze as I stare at the body of my cousin uh, in, in a total state of shock for, is it one, just 1D? One 1D one six turns. Uh, and I do that for two turns. Oh, Victor, I'm so sorry. I'm going to go forward and see if the one is the church door unlocked and two are the keys in Ingvar's pocket. They are. Uh, Victor, you have to take a, a mental um, condition. Okay. And August, you also failed, didn't you? I did. I just faint. You faint and you take a mental condition. <laughs> For five turns. Dumpf. <laughs> 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 it's all too much. Uh, uh, yes, you can find the church key there. Um, it's it's fallen. It looked like he was trying to open the church door when he was attacked. But the door is currently locked. Still, he didn't get that yeah, far. He didn't get that far. <gasps> okay, um, Magnuson, will you see it to August, please? Uh, Certainly, my lady. Uh, Victor? <laughs> Victor. <laughs> Victor? 
<laughs> Are you going to shoot to August? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you, well, well, you, well, you, you left Take it very care, ambiguous. Huh? You said you said sink to her. So uh, <laughs> on the range of options, no. I shall go and try and bring her round. Not that I've got any medical skill, I don't think. I oh, know I've got one. Um, so I'll try and revive her if I can. But I'm picking up the I'm picking up the keys to the church and pocketing okay. them. Inga, what are you doing? Uh, she's trying to comfort Victor, who is seeing a relative in a state that no one should have to see their relative in. Um, are, are, will you be quite all right to continue this investigation? I understand if you need a moment. Uh, Victor is is shaking, uh, not with fear, but with anger, anger at himself for uh, for uh, believing that this man may be a criminal, and now seeing his you know his cousin dead upon the floor it's uh, it's all too much so he just freezes um mm. okay i'm going to give you a medicine roll if you want to to try and shake him out of it dinga awesome. and the reason i'm being so generous in this regard is you should each have had plus three dice because you're all together oh, okay, okay. Can I do the same with August then, Matthew? Uh, yes, I guess you can. Two Sorry, successes. Four. Right. Uh, you are recovered, Victor, and uh, your anger subsides. Sorry, Millie. <laughs> it's all right. Um, I can't bring Millie round. I've, uh, I've got no successes. Right. Do you have that... some smelling salts, Inga? Of course I have smelling salts. Right, you can make a medical roll as well. All right. Uh, thank you for trying, Magnuson. <laughs> Get out of the way. Uh, <laughs> two successes. Two successes. Okay, for those two successes, Inga, you can take your condition away as well. Thank you. I, uh, as, now that I can move, I, uh, I, I immediately pace over to this uh, body of my cousin and kneel down and begin uh, to pray pray for his soul uh, ignoring everything else around me is he completely lacerated like the other like Hammerstrom was a complete yes. mess yeah. Magnus yes. and his arm is hanging off the door and the rest of him is on the stairs <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah fair point <laughs> <laughs> is that hand on the door like he was trying to open the door and get in and was slaughtered? I'm gonna, I'm gonna suddenly better. just be like, <gasps> and and run down towards where the housekeeper lives, uh, where the the vicarage or um, whatever the building is called. If I get it, because if he maybe he's it came from there and he's fled from, and mm. and she could also be. I'm gonna gonna jog on to make sure she is well because she's got good cheese. So I'm, I'm going to I'm going to say to Inga. Yeah. I'm going to say to Lady Inga. Shall I follow her, my lady? Um. Yes, I suppose none of us should be alone right now. I'll I'll chase August. Then. Right. Just so to stay August with her, not to stop her. Going to the uh, uh, going to the church. Uh, going the to the vicarage. Mm -hmm. And uh, Inga and Victor, you're dealing with the body here, right? Yes. yes. Uh, do you want to make a medical examination roll? I would Inga? love to. Be. Two sixes. Yep. Um, <laughs> ye, the same sort of injuries. It yeah. is the same creature that did mm -hmm. this. But you also find uh, another text. Now, <gasps> which one have I not given you? A text? You mean a note, surely? No, a little bit of the medieval parchment in his pocket. Ah, okay. Ooh. Could you put up uh, number 76, Doug? East of the third great stone to the north is the entrance. Deep in the bowels of Fran Franster rests its ben. fell guardian. The path East twists the and turns, stone. but at the place where the Lord's faith is 
based. What is that word? Based? Based, yeah. It lies. Lies its resting place like a light in the dark. Hey, yeah, leave, can we leave that up for a second? Cheers. Is it bared rather than based? Bared, Ooh, yes. Maybe bared. Lies its resting place. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm not there, am I? So. No, yeah, no. <laughs> all right. So, August and uh, Magnuson, you arrive to find the priest housekeeper entirely unaware of any great concern. She welcomes you smiling and says, I'm sorry, uh, 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 the father's gone to, uh, gone to the church already. You've missed him. Did he just leave just now, did he then? Oh, some um, some hour ago, I think. Uh, we it must... was still dark, in fact. Um, did he... We didn't... The, the... I was just going to say we didn't see him at the church. <laughs> <laughs> I will, I will um, uh, walk for it. I say, I don't suppose you have um, something a little stronger than than tea. Um, I'm afraid, I'm afraid I've got some rather bad news and, um, um, You're out yeah, of yeah, I will, um, I will kind of make my way in and al almost sort of envelop her in your arms, sit in a chair, get her some aqua vit yes. and tell her the priest is dead. Yes. Very well. Um, um <laughs> And we came because we feared the, the same had fallen to her. But we're she relieved that it hasn't. turns as white as a sheet on the news and is thoroughly shocked and said, but but I saw him only only in the, in the early hours of the morning. I, I told him to wait and I would boil him an egg. And Did now you... he, he won't ever eat that egg or any eggs ever again. Did you... So, did you... Did you hear the, the, the bell toll last night? She says, yes, yes, I did. And there is, there is a legend that one who is sinned will die when the bell tolls. But not, the, not, not Father Ingvar. Was Father Ingvar perturbed by the bell tolling? Do you know? Was he, was no, he not at agitated? All. Why did he go to the church in the darkness? Uh, well, it was in the early, early hours of the morning. I think he wanted to, you said you'd left a body in there. I'm sure he was wanting to um, um, maybe Minister move it to into it. the sacristy or, 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 or something before people started arriving. Hmm. Okay. I'm not sure we're going to learn much more from her. No, no. At the body, can I see if there's foot, like if there's tracks around? I would need you to make some form of vigilance roll, I think, or investigation roll. Investigation, that's what it would be. I would be <laughs> happy to. Um, <clears throat> no successes. She won't push it. That's not no. her, her skill, her forte. All right. Okay, I think we'll we'll probably head back, shall we, August? Mm, yeah. Le leave the housekeeper with a good shot of Aquavit to calm her nerves. Yeah, yeah. We will we'll, um, leave her and um, maybe send someone else up to look after her in a bit. Hmm. Um, are there any other villagers like walking by? As I recall, the church isn't like too. Yes, out no. Of the day. This is morning is happening, and there are more people on the street. So yes, actually, as um, as as you're standing there and investigating, more people are turning and and looking with shock and horror at the scene 
on the church steps and uh, quite a small crowd is um, being um, being gathered around you. Would would Magnuson be the kind of person to have more forethought than August and, and perhaps ask the housekeeper for a sheet that we could maybe cover the priest with when we get back? Yes, I think that's a good idea. Yeah. If we what need to relief. stop, we're like we're just walking out. We go, hang on, let's yeah. go. Magnuson <laughs> goes. <laughs> can, we, can we borrow some linens, please? <clears throat> yeah, we'll take a sheet with us. Yeah. Preferably a dark coloured one, like a like a grey blanket or something. Yeah. Not a really nice white one. Pristine <laughs> white sheet. Yeah. But that's good thinking, yeah. I would also like to watch the faces of the crowd whenever possible to see if anyone has having like a oh yeah, that makes sense type of expression. Yeah. Yeah. Like, a, like no yeah, lead to like, oh we knew about this sin. That's as why yes, I take it. I think you can see some well everybody's shocked, I think actually. Yeah. Everybody is shocked. Um nobody I think is going, ah oh, yeah, the vicar was gonna get it. But you do get a distinct impression that that uh the church grim, you know, the people think the church grim has got him. Okay. I think the shock comes from the fact that they, you know, they can't imagine and in fact, you can overhear a little bit of, uh, but the vicar, the vicar loved the church. He's been here for years. This, this, I, he didn't put the church in any danger. Um, and there's kind of a, you know, did somebody lie about him? Did somebody tell the Grim that, uh, that he was going to put the church in danger? Okay. Do we, do we think that putting the body I'm saying this to Lady Inga, not in Victor's hearing. Mm -hmm. Do we think that putting the body inside Lady Inga might have caused the, the, the wrath of the church grim against the father for allowing it to stay there? That's a good thought. Also, what I was thinking, the father was saying that he believes that things of the past should be forgotten. As we know, being mm. forgotten can definitely anger a basin. Mm. What if he was really while you're having be... this discussion? Um, a you you hear the the voice of a woman giving quite commanding orders, and you turn around to see a woman you haven't met yet. Uh, she's got red hair like uh, Wilhelmina Skit, um, beautiful blue eyes. She's in her mid to late thirties. Uh, she's got quite a sort of commanding stature, and she's organising the villagers, and she's. Um, saying we're going to need uh, uh, the village hall cleared. We're going to need to put the body in there. Um, and I suggest that uh, we should um, we, we, we should maybe have a meeting. These these uh, these villages, uh, these incomers here, maybe um, maybe I should uh, take them to my house and uh, question them uh, before people's uh, uh, think that they had anything to do with it and she introduces herself to you at that point and says uh, uh, madam madam uh, gentlemen uh, I am Dorothea Skitt I'm the uh, largest landowner hereabouts uh, this has been a terrible terrible thing that you have witnessed here uh, let me some some of the I, I've arranged for some of the, uh, uh, the stronger men here to uh, to take the um, to take the good father to uh, to the uh, village hall and 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 lay him out there. Uh, you you must be shocked. Why don't you come with me? I, your daughter had already invited you to my house. It is high time that we made your acquaintance. And um, while she's talking, I'm going to unlock the church door if it's locked and open it. Mm -hmm. And can I still see the body of um, Hammerstrom? Yes. Where, where we left it. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll say, uh, my, my good lady, um, you, you may wish to direct your townsfolk to do the same with the um, 
the body of um, Mr. Hammerstrom that we found in the undergrowth yesterday. Hammerstrom and had, in and the had brought, undergrowth? And had brought here um, for safekeeping overnight with the, the knowledge of poor father Ingvar. Uh, very well, very well. Uh, thank you for bringing it to my attention. But um, please, come with me to my house. Yes, of course. I'm going to keep the keys. Okay, I'm going to want... Uh, I'm going to want you to make a stealth roll. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's just by distracting yeah. this lady. Uh, you can engage in conversation and give him an extra dice if you so desire. Cool. Thank you so much for your invitation. We did hear from your daughter last night. Warned her of a bear that might be around. I got one success. Uh, she seems to have been entirely distracted by Inga, <laughs> so that's good enough. Yeah, nobody appears to have seen you pocket the, um, Get out. <clears throat> the keys. Um, so you all go to the house and she, uh, it's a red wooden house with two stories and inclined roof. Again, like the other one, handed down over generations and renovated uh, and renovated and renovated. Um, it's large and spacious, a bit too big for, frankly, Dorothea and her daughter. Is it just um, the two of them, then, is it? Just two of them, yes. Her husband died some years ago. Uh, behind the house, you can see the vast expanse of Dorothea's sort of section of the forest, um, where Wilhelmina spends lots of time walking and hunting. Mm. There's smoke from the chimney. Um, and there's a large... Uh, outhouse full of firewood um there is again an outhouse for the you know for toiletries shall we say um <laughs> and uh she says uh i i prepared coffee and sandwiches for you uh i was rather hoping we would meet in happier circumstances and she would Brings you inside, sits you down. There is coffee, there's sandwiches, there's homemade cookies. Um, you'll notice that they don't keep any servants. It's, they they look after the house themselves. I'll um, I'll stand up and offer to serve the coffee. You honestly don't need to. We we don't we don't have servants in this house. But I can see that you are the sort of man. Who does not like to be refused? Of course. <laughs> Feel at liberty to serve the coffee. <laughs> Thank you. My favourite word. <laughs> Good lady. And I'll pour coffee and hand out sandwiches and stuff. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, so, it is a pleasure to meet you. Uh, I wish it could be under better circumstances. Mm -hmm. Of course. It is. I'll say it is rather a grim affair, and um, see how she reacts. Like, <laughs> like, is she? Is she like, yeah, yeah, it is. Or how dare you pun over the death? Kind I, of I hope Gabby's watching because she wanted to call the story a grim secret. And Thomas overruled her and said it had to be called a wicked secret. <laughs> so she would have loved that pun. Um, uh, uh, grim affair. And you're looking for a reaction from her. Can I get you to make an observation roll, please? Yeah. Uh, one. No successes. Boo. <laughs> um, she... Uh, covers uh, <laughs> if if she recognizes uh, uh, your pun, she does not react to it. Damn it. Um, so it's a terrible fate that there fell uh, Hammerstrom, and uh, you found their body. Yes. Fortunately. And then you found the vicar's body. Yes. <laughs> I understand how this could potentially look. Um, 
No, if you're if you're thinking I'm accusing you of having anything to do with it, be reassured uh, that I do not accuse you of having anything to do with Abishtrom. Oh. He went missing uh, days before you uh, even arrived in the village. And it and, is not a surprise that we found him as we came to find him. Uh, no, some of the villagers here, uh, I think, might be inclined to pick up pitchforks and uh, form mob justice. So I cannot reassure you that they may not take against you. That was why I, sh I took you away from that crowd that was Thank you. that was that was forming. Um, I, I'll, I'll butt in again, trying to pro provoke a reaction. But it's not as if the dainty Dr. Inga could turn into a wild and wicked beast and rip someone open in such a grievous and vicious manner. Look at her. Her hands are surgeon's tools, but they are not claws of a beast. And I'll... Like, okay, I'll, get, I'll give you an inspiration roll on that one with your, with your storytelling there. Wow. See if you get a reaction from there. But little do you know that Inga actually is a werewolf. <laughs> yeah. um, inspiration. Mm, Inga, so you do have a split be... personality. Maybe I should be making you... Uh, uh, yeah, I, might, I might suggest that this story, however successful it is, it does trigger the change, your personal problem. Oh, Inga. okay. Sounds good. Um Sorry. Uh, you know what? <laughs> I'm I'm going to push it because I didn't get any successes. Go ahead. What, what's the it, condition August. that you're taking? Um, um, I'm, I'm already frightened. Um, I guess I'm becoming a little bit hopeless that I am after eventually going to write the doctor Wait, as a Wait, did I take your frightened away? She did I, take your... She gave no, you treatment. I, I, I was already frightened then. I would have taken a second from oh. from. The, I, I'm still because I was frightened from being searching my room. Oh, ah, right. Yeah. Of so, right. Yeah. So now, now I'm I'm hopeless that I am eventually going to have to write the doctor as a terrible person in one of my books, <laughs> and I get one success. One success. Let's well, for, for that for that sacrifice, I I will say. <laughs> She takes a deep breath and says, so you've heard the stories then. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, it's not like about the doctor, about our own wild beast. <laughs> yeah, we've heard, we've heard some stories, you know, love small town stories. Tell us more. It is a grim, a large beast. Has anyone uh, seen it? Those who have are, <gasps> shall we say, very frightened by it. Oh, how can but, you? Uh, it But it watches over the church and the graveyard and defends those above all else. But what could the vicar mm. possibly have against the church or the graveyard? He was a relative of Victor here. Did you know that? I am so sorry for your loss, she says. No, he has been an honest uh, uh, leader of the congregation here for many years. I am sure that it is not a thing that he did that saw the beast turn against him. Then I have a question for you. You must tell me, do you think that someone else is influencing the Grimm from the outside to do their, their work, their dirty work, as it were? I fear that somebody is. And I think that you have a little suspicion, don't you? <laughs> Whether or not I have... I have no evidence. I, can't, I could not cast aspersions upon any of my fellow vill villagers here without firm evidence of their Well, of course you couldn't. You are a wonderful, mm. wonderful person. But what you could possibly maybe do is tell us the suspicions and then we can prove the innocence of your great friends. The offer is most kind and generous, but you are not of this village. 
That makes us the perfect person to do it. We are a neutral party. Come, look I've... into my eyes. Don't you think you can trust me? <laughs> <laughs> we have a way of doing things in this village that um, is particular that, to the village. That leaves villagers torn to shreds on the doorstep of your church. That seems like a the, questionable the, way, if you ask me, um, my lady. Particular indeed. I, I, I welcome your um, interjection. Uh, I, I, I don't hold with, uh, with them. Um, I don't hold with the social structures of the last hundred years or so. I, I don't expect you to serve me tea, but I do expect you not to sound so accusing in your tone of voice. Um, I do Magnuson. apologize for Magnuson. It's just we are great friends to Father Victor here. And assumedly, your customs have gotten a dear friend's cousin killed. So you will understand if we are a bit emotional at this point, wouldn't you? I can. I can understand that. What I'm saying is there is a way in which society is run here that you may fall afoul of. Why don't you tell us more of the society so we may avoid such a fate? What I suggest is perhaps you could appeal to the villagers as a body. Get them on side first, get them to trust you, and you may think, find things a lot easier. As a body. Or bodies. We <laughs> have the right. bodies in the village hall, <laughs> yes. Uh, this, the, these bodies are... Uh, maybe you can um, show us how they are evidence. If you can persuade the villagers to listen to you as outsiders, then maybe the villagers will trust you and open up to you. And um, recent divisions in the village can be healed. Perhaps um, you can help us call a town meeting. And I would. I, I am very inclined to help you. And uh, having said before, having warned you of torches and pitchforks, I will also ensure that that is not a fate that uh, should come to you if, uh, if things go badly. Perhaps the close relation between Father Victor and the recently deceased will help ease. I'm sure it should. Well then. When do you think you could have this meeting put together? Well, it will take a little time, but um, <laughs> this afternoon? Mm. Yes, that would work wonderfully for us, don't you think? Yes. Yes, I think so. I think that works very well. And to be sure that Emily understands what's going on here. If we're going to go, we're going to examine the bodies and just like lay out all the facts and say, hey, look, it wasn't us. Is I'm, that right? I'm not entirely sure that we get to even do that because we do have another lead to follow that you found on the priest. Mm -hmm. So I think we go and do that whilst they're setting up the meeting and let's see where we are once we Fair. get to that yeah, point. Yeah, that seems like okay. a good idea. Mm -hmm. All right. Because if, if we can find the bones of the cat that was originally... Ooh originally no. done then, then i would like to to let it rest in peace i i was talking to the to like i was talking to the housekeeper like the the your your cousin's housekeeper she says the bones of the cat are, are in the foundations of the church there was there was something in that last note that we found wasn't there oh uh, yeah. it's or maybe that's not where the bones of the cat are maybe that's where the grim itself lives Maybe, maybe the church isn't really the spiritual part of the village, the place where they see God. Mm, maybe. I'm assuming it's, it's not a wooden church, is it, Matt? It's a stone church. 
Uh, no, uh, it, was, it was wood and stone, I think, right, okay. in the Swedish vernacular. So stone foundations, wooden upper parts. So we'd have to dig it up if we wanted to get... If the bones were under it, we'd have to... <laughs> yeah, we'd have, <laughs> have to... to bring in bring in the JCBs, which the, might not uh, go down very well. have some sort of direction to... Yeah, exactly. For something. So did we take... That note was on... The father on, on yes yeah father Ingvar. So presumably we kept that. Uh, yes. Yeah. Can we have yes. another look at it? Yeah, that's one it was got. to the east of the third. Uh, big so stone. that is picture number seventy-six, Doug. So east of the third great stone, the north to the north the is the entrance. entrance. Deep in the bowels of Fenster rests the fell guardian. So that's probably where the Grim is. Hmm. The question is, yeah. how do we get rid of the Grim? I've got a pistol I, with six shots. I'm not sure I that think, might uh, do it. Perhaps we do need the villagers on our side before we try and confront this. And this beast. to be fair, I'm if the Grim is being controlled controlled then we just have to mm. we have to stop the controlling not necessarily the kill point. because it it's if it's doing its job right then so um is it is it we need to convince the villagers to help us lay this grim to rest before somebody else manipulates it and they must now go forward like civilized folk not relying on Vaison to get involved in stuff. Is that what we that, need to do? That's an option. Yeah. I think we have and, two options right now. I think we can find out who's controlling it or we can put it to rest. And those are our two options. And we're kind of at a crossroads now to choose which one we want to go for. And I from think, our knowledge uh, of the. Sorry, Tom. I was just going to say uh, going after who's controlling it seems like. A good line of investigation to take first, but so, I don't want to fight it. <laughs> no, I'm not sure I want to fight it either. Um, but now, from our knowledge of Church Grimms, are they happy, Verson, looking after churches when they are, you know, when they're summoned, or is this something that it would want to be released from? I'm going to have to turn to the rules here. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. Sorry for uh, making you turn to the rules, Matthew. Uh, because I, 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 it doesn't sit well with me leaving a verse and in kind of bondage. Sure, and in, that makes sense. Um, now, and, I think, in, particularly with your um, your attitude to Verson, your assumption would be that they're not particularly happy. Let's face it; they were a cat that was burned alive, mm. and now they're trapped. They seem to be pretty angry every time they get out to play. Yeah, mm. I'm not convinced yeah. that they wouldn't thank you for um, releasing them from bondage. That's in fair. at least in your understanding of Versen. Yeah, okay. I would quite like to get it released then. <clears throat> and so if we can. Why don't we try to find the resting grounds and see if we can free its soul? It doesn't automatically mean it's going to attack us just because we find it. Fingers crossed. <laughs> that is quite an assumption, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, we, we hoped we'd get through the night, and we did. So, um, you know, the odds. Yeah, that's could... better. Yeah, it's better than last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we don't have to go on a boat or eat herring. It's all good. <laughs> so that's the problem, is it? It's been put in a barrel of herring that really mm. got you, isn't it? It wasn't yeah, all the rest well... of it. <laughs> <laughs> the worst bit. Um, so, so can we kind of, from having having walked around the village a bit, is there any way we can sort of work out what the the third stone would be? Right. Well, um, I didn't include this picture, oh. sadly, but I Ooh. could have had a picture to show you. Um, east of the, as you, you you take a tour around the church, and just to the east of the church. Where the graveyard meets the forest, there are three large boulders. Ooh. Mm. So east of the third great one to the north. Mm. OK. 
Okay, we'll follow okay. those instructions then. Yep. Um, As we're walking and we're heading over there, I will um, hang back with Victor and um, uh, say, look, um, I have a slight confession to make. Um, <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't being as, as genuine and as um, reassuring as I, I, I was really this morning. Um, you see, I really need a good character for my next book. And I was hoping that it, it could perhaps have been a priest. I, I, I won't now, because really, Dr. Inga's quite an interesting person. Um, but I, I, I do feel like I should just confess and say sorry. Uh, which is Millie saying, please, please help me because I've got two conditions and now we're going to go and fight a grim. I think we knew that, Millie. You didn't need to tell us. <laughs> oh, just in case. Just in case. I'll just get you to say some Hail Marys, I'm sure. Let's see. <laughs> uh, uh, unfortunately for you. Oh, no. Um, uh, I can't help you. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, I'm, I'm clearly too distracted by the goings on to, uh, yes, how to hear your to confession me. properly. Yeah. Damn it. So there are three stones that look like they're covered in moss. They've been there for aeons. Wow. These are aeons. so old. <laughs> So, so which way do we go, Magnuson? Do you do you know the the? Do you have a compass? You always have something of everything. Well, it's an early morning, right? And the sun rose from there, so north is there. Oh, and and we, with the moss. Use and the we moss. wanted, to, and we wanted to get east, didn't we? Rather than was it north? You, you've come east of the church, and now we have to head north from the third stone. I think. Should is, we have a look at the text again? Is my memory serving me? Let's just text again without let's, making... Let's just read this another time. Yeah. <laughs> East of the third great stone oh. to the north is the entrance. So it's to the north of the so church the, we go east of the stone? So it's the most northerly stone and we go east. Okay. Yeah. I think. Okay. <laughs> that sounds about right. Let's try that. And, and, let's and do that. If I'm wrong, you can, you can blame me, Lady Inga. Um... Well, it's my fault. I will. As you indicate the most northerly stone, make a force roll, Magnuson. Force? Yes. Okay. Um, that, yeah, that, I'm not bad at that, actually. I'm quite tough. <laughs> he says before he rolls the dice. Um, I get one success on seven dice. Yeah, so you, you lean against it and you feel it move slightly. Okay. Does it feel like it would move further if I gave it? Mm, it put my feels shoulder exactly to it? like it might be not as fixed as it looks. Magazine huh? broke it. Door. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm strong, Lady Inga, but I'm not that strong. It's been um, here for over a thousand years, and you've broken it. <laughs> so is, this, is it rocking or is it sliding? Or it kind of feels like it's on a bit of a pivot, and it pivots okay. maybe in. I'll the... I'll try. I'll get my arms around it and try and turn it in the direction that I think it pivots. And it appears to be a heavy secret door into a dark and damp cave system. Wow. Which that note says we would be going underground. Do we have anything that we can light our way with? Have I got a lighter or something at least? Has anybody got a lighter? A lamp. Victor, I mean... you got any votive candles? Victor's not here at the moment. I'm uh, I'm sure you have you you have a lighter, uh, Magnuson, because you never know where you need to take the liberty to light somebody's cigarette. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Um have you got some candles, Father Victor, that we can votive uh... candles or because the light is not going to cast a lot of light. Perhaps, is it? perhaps uh, I can use my erudite skill here to establish that there are, in fact, torches uh, that go down this <laughs> this cave. <laughs> Nicely done. Yeah, that sounds good. 
Okay, I think that's not necessarily the sort of way you meant to use everything. You didn't find a book that said, oh, and there's a cave system. And when you get to the cave system, put your hand out to the left, you'll see the torches. But um, <laughs> for sake of timing, it's, uh, it's, uh, mm. it's yeah, it's uh, coming up to 11 o'clock. For the sake of timing, yes, you can find uh, Excellent. Uh, torches to the left here. And uh, Magnuson will take the liberty, uh, in his absence, to light the torches for you. Excellent. Perfect. Thank you, Magnuson. <laughs> okay. Um, it heads, uh, I guess, uh, northwards or eastwards or whatever the instructions said. Uh, it goes down. It's dark. It's damp. It's slimy. You can feel moss. You can see moss growing on the walls. Uh, I never get to go to nice places. When do I get to go to a nice place? Some, uh, some, the, the corridors vary in size. So some you can walk all four of you abreast. Uh, others you have to get in line. Some of them you actually have to crouch and stoop beneath a very low ceiling. Um, Inga, can I get you to make a learning roll? Yes, please. Do, do, do. Let's make sure. Okay, that'll be five dice. One success. One success. Uh, you notice um, that the torchlight flickers on a seam what looks like quite a rich seam of iron ore in the in the uh, in the sides of the cave. Wow! Do you see this? The way it flickers along this, and I run my hand along it, careless of like the dirt and the nasty wet that Inga would normally never touch. <laughs> I'll I'll hand Lady Inga a handkerchief to wipe her hand with. When she's finished. Oh. <laughs> yeah. um, and then you realise you've kind of come um, back to the church. Oh, we've gone like... It's been a bit of a maze, but you now can see, a, you know, in the natural rock formation and the seam of the iron, you can see uh, what must be set stones of the foundations of the church. Oh, we've reached the foundation. We must be close. Isn't that mm. exciting? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to draw my pistol, Matthew, <laughs> just to be okay. on the safe side. Um, I'm going to uh, draw my I, crucifix. I, I, with all this iron down here, I, do, do we suspect that that Mr. Um, Mueller was... Maya? Maya Von was Maya. Going, yeah. going to be... Digging this place up and creating a mine rather than logging industry it does seem like a lot of value to be left mm. alone. Mm. Wow! I do not. May be right. I don't mm. be appreciate being lied to by clients. Just me mm. over here on that. That's important information to have. I think he'll definitely be. Blackboard from the society. I would, I would suggest if I may take the liberty to do so. You may. Maybe we should invite him here. Perhaps we <laughs> should find him a bit more than he was originally planning for his untruths. Given um, that the the housekeeper told me the the cat or the the grim was create the, the body of the grim was somewhere down here. Um, mm. August is going to start looking around for it. Okay, you turn a corner around the foundation and you find a big round cave chamber stretching several meters in all directions. And is this right under the church now? Mm, close to the church, I think. Mm, I think the close church enough. Is built around it, but yeah, very close to the church. Um, the cave walls are adorned with floral symbols. Uh, maybe you can see in there uh, the sort of green man type um, faces and uh, 
uh, maybe there's uh, Bacchus. Uh, there's quite a lot mm -hmm. of greenery all in all. And on the floor is a great pentagram. Ooh. Carved into the stone floor. I'm just I thinking. Gasp. Um, obviously, somebody in the village knows about this, so we might suspect that someone might come down the corridor behind us at some point. Mm. Um, so um, when when you the, say uh, the the room the cave is decorated, is it a similar craftsmanship as somebody's house? Um. <laughs> Good thought. It's it's stone as opposed to wood, so that's a different craft. Oh, okay. But um, this, um... make an investigation roll or observation uh, or vigilance. I mean, not observation. Vigilance. This, this pentagram uh, is it? Is it newer? Does this look like a recent pentagram? No, it all looks of a piece. Okay. Two successes. Ooh. Yeah, you're pretty sure that at least some of the carvings here are by the same hand that carved the house. Interesting. And indeed, some of the carvings in the house maybe are copies of the ones here because mm. the house is wooden. So you might argue these are older. So maybe um, the ones in the house are are copies, effectively, of the carvings here. Yeah. Is there another uh, way out of here? Or is there just one tunnel coming into this? I think there's just one tunnel coming in. Okay. And out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stand by the door whilst others, the others are in or the door, the, the entrance to the chamber, kind of keeping an eye out behind keeping... and, in, and inside as well whilst they're investigating. Can I get you to make a vigilance roll? Me? Yeah. Um... Yeah, I need more practice at this, Lady Inga. <laughs> it's another uh, so another training you must, course. <laughs> you must listen and look. <laughs> oh, listen okay. Do I get an extra dice for that? <laughs> I'll go on. I'll be generous. <laughs> Three. Um, yeah. Okay. I am gonna push, and I'm gonna be. I think I'm gonna be a bit frightened, actually. Okay. And I got one success on the reroll. You are pretty convinced nobody has followed you down. Okay. All the I'm attention still... of the village is concerned with the with the with the vicar. And, okay. Uh, maybe I got I got frightened because maybe I was spooked myself by a by a shadow or something. Yeah, yeah. And then I, check, I, 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 I this is scary. I check I it think. out and it's it's okay. All right, cool. So um <laughs> is, there, is there any sign of this uh this cat? Skeleton. No. Well, it's supposed to be boxed in, right? Hold on. I'm so just making sure I know where the cat skeleton is. Yeah, it did say it would be walled yeah. into something. Yeah. Well, let's check the walls. Or maybe That's... buried. Could be underneath the, the pentagram. I assume the pentagram, Father, is a bad sign. It, it certainly is. <laughs> generally not regarded as... I mean, generally for us down here, I mean, rather than actually, you know, it's a nasty sign, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, um. <laughs> it is not, it's not a good thing to see. Mm. Okay, I'm going to ask you to make an... Ob uh, sorry, uh, somebody to make an investigation roll. <sighs> What would that be? Three. I'm okay, I'm okay at that. Okay. Yeah, I'm guarding the, the, the corridor, so it can't be me anyway. No, would not you... that you want it to be me. Tom, are you? Uh, Tom, did you want to do it? I am not an investigation person. Inga will are be we... wandering around, curious, tapping on stone, saying, said it was going to be in a wall or boxed in or something. Let's see here. I will roll. I rolled five dice with no successes. Mm. The luck has turned tonight. <laughs> yeah, uh, this, you know, you are kind of, this is the, the foundations of the church all along the corridor that you've um, 
you've come into this thing. You've been checking those and you think you can't see anywhere where a dead cat skeleton would be walled in. You know, there's, it's either natural rock or it's the rocks of the foundation. So you think that it's got to be somewhere at a higher level, you know, maybe seen from outside the church itself rather we, than down here. Mm. We might not be able to find the, the skeleton, but I think, I think I've worked out who might be in control of it. Oh, well, look, and I'll point mm. out like some of the, the obvious carvings <clears throat> and then, and then say, does that not look like the one near, near the window above, you know, um, and point them around and, and that, that face over there, I'm sure I've seen that from, from above the, the mat, you know, that kind of thing. Oh, the, the, August, you're so clever. And she's going to clasp you around the shoulder and like shake you. Look at this. Look what you found. It's amazing. Ma Meta Karlstrom. Is that? Hmm. That seems likely to me. Should we destroy the pentagram? I'll look at the. It's carved the in. You, you, oh, you, I can't do yeah, anything it, about that. No, it, it, it's not painted or or made of salt or anything. It's okay. carved into the stone of the floor. Is there any way of setting a fire down here? In this damp, dark tunnel, it would be pretty hard it's, to no. get to catch. We'd have to go back to the sawmill and get lots of wood. Hmm. How will we find out where the pentagram is in relation to the top of the church? That's what I was wondering. Someone could stay down here and tap. <laughs> I'm not sure you'd hear it through these uh, thick foundations. I that... think that would be a learning role, but um, it would be quite a difficult one. Yeah. Sort of triangulate ourselves. So the... the, the, the I'd say the minus two. The ceiling of where we are, Matthew, mm -hmm. is, that, is that stonework now then? Mm, that's relatively natural. Right. Okay. So I mean, it's not it's, like we're. No. It's, it's not, not like, like we're like. You're, you're, oh, underneath these are the, the floors of the church. Yeah. No. no okay. There's a there's a little grating, and if you open it up, you can pop it comes your out head into up. Yeah. And there's, <laughs> and there's a rope somebody can dong the. Dong the <laughs> yeah. Um. Hmm. I can make the learning check at a minus two. I'm at three dice. It's more than yeah. any of uh, anybody else, I think, isn't it? It's worth a try. Sure. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Oh, two successes. Nice. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to say, yes, you can superimpose the church on this space. And it doesn't quite cover the area. But um, in fact, you can see where you think the bell tower is there is a um uh, there, there's a sort of vent out of here that possibly goes up into the bell tower of the church Ooh. by vent what are we talking how big is it is it something we could climb up not something you could climb up no but no. Uh, potentially um we uh, could use that when we're up top to triangulate where the pentagram is Event. Uh, potentially, potentially, potentially. Yeah. Okay. And maybe a rope hung all this way down could ring the bell. <gasps> mm. oh. and, okay, the, but there isn't a rope hanging down here at the moment. Not that you can see, no. Can I look for one then? No. Well, no, I can't. I'm, I'm going to suggest it, but I'm by the door. Yeah, it's over. So, do we think that um, that uh, I've forgotten her name? The Myrta. Yeah. Do we think she uh, comes here to control it? To, but how to would direct she? It? Remember, she was because in the house when the bell rolled. Yeah, for us. But, She'd have to um, move pretty damn point. quickly. But, but the, we didn't know where her. She said daughter, there was division. There was she divisions the in the town. She said there was. There are divisions in the town. Yes. So, so, she's obviously got folks who are helping. Team Grim. Mm. Team Control the Grim. To. Because they don't. 
they don't I want don't to sell the I don't think there's the any town. further clues here. So given uh, the time, I'm going to yeah. say, why don't you get out and look for something else? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think we should okay. do that. Madison. But you yes. can, you can yes, see lady. that there are torches around here. That's the one thing I should say that have been recently lit, that this is a place that is regularly used, I think. Mm. That's the only other clue I think I can give you at the moment. Did, did Dorothea's daughter come from this way when she exited the woods last night? No, no, they came. she came more from okay. uh, the direction of the bit of woods that her family owned. Okay. And then she went in the direction of her house rather than because mm. we were coming back from the church. Mm -hmm. All right, well then. Okay, yeah, let's... Should we go yeah. into the church then and see if we can use the see knowledge we found down here? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, let's let's do that. And then I think uh, after that, the next step would be the town hall meeting. Mm -hmm. That might not go very well, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why Have ever we, not? Were, were we observed, do we think, going in and out past this rock? You don't think so, no. No, okay. Let's carefully slide that rock back into place. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Mm. Um, and yeah, if we go to where in the church it, it lines up and uh, have a little investigation on that spot. You do see that the rope that the bell, um, that tolls the bell is long enough to go down that vent. And you do find a little kind of grate in the floor of the church that, that okay. you think probably ties up with the other end and coiled next to it, the rest of the rope. So either somebody's mm. got an extra set of keys to get in the church or they're very good at climbing into places. I mean, was there a back door? Or somebody just tidied up the ropes this morning after you found the vicar. But yeah. we have the keys. Did, did we have it locked? Oh uh, no. Be more than one key. Magnus no, well, unlocked it. I unlocked it and left it open for so they could get the body of um, right. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, All right. Um can we search around for a possible place that would make sense for the the cat's bones might be? Okay, I think you'd need to make an investigation roll looking around the um, church. Uh, whilst we're inside the church, Matthew, I'm locking the door from the inside. Uh, you'd need to, I, sorry, I think you'll need to go outside the church to do an investigation of the foundations. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. okay. All right, let's all spread out and look for something that might have been disturbed or added on at a later date. So one of you make an investigation roll and add three for help from everybody else. Um, My investigation's at a five. So yeah, that'd, better than me. That'd give me six. So. That that would bring you to a six. So yeah. with the other three, I will be at an eight. Oh okay. yeah, you do. That. that sounds good. Okay, guys. If I don't roll any successes, I have failed oh. the city. Come on, Lady Inga. I know you can do it. A single success. <laughs> okay, you think you found a slightly discoloured, um, or different colour stone that's much lighter than the others mm -hmm. at the base of the church. It would require some force, if not uh, tools, to um, to okay. kind of dislodge it. <laughs> can I can I try and dislodge it with my can. Wait, they bury people here. Do you need a shovel? Have you seen the graveyard? There's so many people in it. <laughs> yeah, I'd... you can find there's a there's a grave digger's shed or something nearby, and you can find a shovel and a pickaxe. So okay. add add a dice. Yes. Okay, that gives me eight dice. Oh. Nice. Okay, I get two successes on that. Okay, can I get you to roll a d6? Me? Yep. Uh, high or low good? <laughs> no, I'm not saying. Uh, can I get I you rolled, to roll a d6? I rolled a four. Okay. Um, you managed to shift this stone 
and you do find behind it the skeleton and bones of what used to be a cat of some kind. So I believe we have to cremate this remains to... I think... At least to release. set it free. Uh, yeah, exactly. Do we need... Do we know? Do we... Do we... <laughs> I have got a lighter. Do we need to do it on hallowed ground or do we... Can we do it anywhere or... We don't know. I think we're kind of taking a guess here. Did it, well, did it actually say that we needed to burn it in that initial... Um... That, that was what our research was, wasn't it? Oh no, it was the first um We've oh, lost no. our leader. Oh no. But we but we win. Wait, well done, Tim. <laughs> we did it. Um no, one no. of the one of the things said um return it in the manner it was created, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there was something yeah. there was definitely something in one of the notes about that. Yeah, I wrote down burn the bones. So Okay, yeah. hey, that's that's good think, enough for me. I think we need to cremate them. Yeah. Thank you, Doug. I'm back. <laughs> yeah. Was it something gonna, we said, Matt? Um, so I was just uh... going to find the um, uh, the relevant note, and the relevant note says, "The cruel fate of the cat, baptized by fire in the name of the Lord, gave it life anew. Only when its bones suffer the same fate that once brought it into existence will it perish." Burn it. So we need to find somewhere to burn it, preferably so, away from the villagers. Do do you need to make sure you burn it in the name of the Lord, Victor? Do you need to release it? And it wouldn't hurt, would it? No, uh, it wouldn't. I think uh, if we could, if we got something that we could just put all these bones in a, a sack or something, and we could scuttle off somewhere and and uh, I'll, I'll take my jacket off and you can put it in that. And uh, and then we could perhaps maybe in, even in a fireplace. I don't know. It doesn't have to be that fancy. We just need to get them very hot and yeah, and uh, send them on their way. I have a deep fear that the villagers are going to be pissed. That we... <laughs> There's yeah, a it's... sudden disturbance in <laughs> the don't... woods near where you are. All the birds, oh, and no. the trees, snapping branches. Away. Tweeted. Okay, I think we've got to burn it right here, right now. <laughs> okay, let's let's get inside the church. At least we've got. No, no, let's place. go to the vicarage because there's a there's a kitchen, and in the kitchen there will be some sort of stove or fire or fireplace. Let's run there and burn oh. it there. That's what. That's August. Like let's and the veggies. <laughs> let's go. Okay, I'll, I'm down to do a chase scene. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's do it. Run. Run. Okay, hey, um, Matthew, we're I'm, all I'm, holding three bones and just sprinting. <laughs> I'm drawing my pistol again, Matthew, and right, I'm going okay. I'm, and I'm going last. I'm making sure that Lady India is ahead of me, and Start I'm keeping an eye weapon, out, Victor. keeping keeping an eye out backwards. Can I get you all to make, I guess, an agility roll? <laughs> Goodness gracious! <laughs> Not my strength. Uh, you can hear oh, in one. the woods somewhere, Magnuson, great, heavy, bounding footsteps. Footfalls, okay. Um, can I just okay. check? If I push this, I take a, a physical condition, which is separate from my mental conditions, yeah? Yes. All right, I'm going to push this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also going to push. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Exhausted, I have one success. Uh, I had two. I got one. I am exhausted with zero successes. Right. Um, uh, Magnuson, you've got to make a choice. You're overtaking Inga. Do you stay behind to protect her? Oh, yeah. Without doubt. No, 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 no. I, I'll use my second success if I can do that. To pull her to her feet and push her in the direction away from me towards okay. the vicarage. I'll let you spend that extra <gasps> success on dragging her in. And, um, so I'm going to be last, definitely. Uh, and I'll try and hold this thing off for as long as possible. Okay. Um, 
I just, uh, I wasn't necessarily expecting this to be the conflict that was going to happen. Sure, a chase scene is always a surprise. And why, and, and, why, and why not, Matthew? I mean, like, you know, come on. Yeah, well, no, 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 that's fine. Um, this is happening because of cheese. Yes. Okay. Cool. August's cheese. fault. <laughs> Better be good. Hope I hope I live long enough to try some. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, you are you staying outside to to shoot at the creature that's chasing you? Well, I'm being last in line, basically. To and during the sprint, okay. can I get in? Can I get indoors? Are we at the Who got the ready? most successes out of the two of you, August and Victor? I, I think we both one. got one. Yeah, but I had to push to get my one. Okay, so uh, Victor, you get into the vicarage first, and were you carrying the bones? Who who had the bones? I think Victor uh, had them because yeah. you're, you're I bundled. Do... The, I gave him my jacket to wrap them up in. So yeah. right, okay then. So um, what are you going to do, Victor? I'm, I'm bursting into the vicarage. Um, I'm not knock, not not pausing to knock. I'm just uh, <laughs> practically practically taking the door out as I burst in, and uh, I, if I see the um, the the lady that was in here, I basically just make a noise that is a bit like no time to explain, and uh, I'm I'm running towards where the um, uh, where this kitchen was, where this fire was. Dave. Yeah, I think she's got an iron range with uh, uh, everybody has wood burning stoves here because there's a yeah. lot of wood um, <laughs> uh, it may need uh it may not be hot enough on its own to burn these i'm just telling you that on meanwhile okay what do we need uh, to make it hotter a a creature appears. <laughs> some of them flammable i'm sure alcohol um, there's gonna be some medicinal alcohol in there we've already yeah. given her some we have to hope she hasn't drank it all <laughs> Yeah, because I'm going to need it, I think. Uh, uh, Dave, um, sorry, Vic uh, Magnuson, can you make a fear roll, please? Okay. I feel it more than turn around to see it at the moment, almost breathing down your neck. Its presence seems so close. Just make it against one. Okay. I get three on my six dice. Okay. <laughs> So you um, are not scared. So I'm uh, gonna I'm gonna put my shoulders back. I'm gonna turn and raise my pistol towards it. Okay. Do you want to shoot it? Does it look it like? It looks. It. Um, does it look like it might listen to reason? <laughs> no, it has shaggy dark fur and glowing red eyes and a huge boar with razor sharp fangs that can make <laughs> short work of flesh and bone alike. Okay. Is is everybody else now in the in the vicarage? Uh yes. Okay, I'm I'm gonna like stand up, shoulders back, turn to, to, to aim at it, see it go, oh shit, and run into the vicarage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um and then slam the door shut and bar it and right. say, it's, it's big. He's very big. And you can um it you can hear it on the other side of the door. In fact, you can see the door shake as it um as it slams a uh, claw at the door. And I am gonna make a an attack of some description. Let me let me roll that many dice. So how long is it going to take to cremate, cremate these bones, do you think? Like an hour or something? Uh, no, <laughs> I, I think what you need to do is heat up. You, um, Victor, you've you thrown the bones into the stove, have you? Yeah, and I'm assuming uh, um, there's some sort of bellows nearby. Yes. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> yeah, that's what you need. Do you want and, to make uh, a might a force roll, I mean, to get those bellows really pumping? Um, yeah. I, I was actually thinking I might bless the bellows. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you bless myself. the bellows. It takes more time. Uh, Magnuson, are you just staring at the door? Or are you putting your weight against it? Or what are you doing to keep um, the cat out? I will, um, I will put my weight against it and 
if there's something, yeah, I'll do whatever I can. If there's something okay. I can lock it with. It shakes again. You got the bar across, but you notice that the wood is splintering with this okay. bow. August, um, help me with this bookshelf. Okay, <laughs> start moving furniture with uh, Dr. Inga. <laughs> okay. Sideboard with the, sh the plates on it. Right, can I get uh, Inga and uh, whoever's the strongest out of you uh, make a force roll, please? I've got a total uh, of four. Between yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm exhausted. So. Um, oh, I'm also exhausted. So I only have two. I, right. Okay, so so I'll be at three. Somebody mm -hmm. throw three dice. Yeah. No successes. All okay. ones. Do you get right, plus you one can't... for August helping? Uh, that she had the extra one. Is it okay? Okay. Um, uh, right, uh, Father uh, Victor, what have you done with the bellows? I'm just so calling I, Father uh, Bellows for a moment. <laughs> I, uh, I didn't have a. I don't have my holy water, so instead I uh, pull out my cross and mm. I um, and I hold the bellows and I hold the cross and I say a prayer uh, to uh, call on the Lord to help us in this this hour of our. Our greatest need. Do you want to roll on inspiration? Uh, yes. How do I do that? Inspiration. Roll on inspiration. Empathy. Uh, whatever your dice and, is. Um, <laughs> yes. Empathy. Uh, and, um, okay. And uh, you need to push myself. Uh, I think it's going to be, um, uh, oh, am I going to be frightened? by this creature coming my way, probably. And I'm going to really hope that that changes things a bit. Uh, oh, one six. OK. Mm. <laughs> uh, one six. OK, uh, the church is blessed. Um, the holy bellows. The holy bellows. The holy bellows. <laughs> I, I hold them up above my head. The, the room it, glows. <laughs> the, the, the joke is in our um, uh, Savage Worlds campaign. My character is called Father Bellows, and he's a he's a he's a, he's a very very bad. Stop um, describing him straight away. <laughs> he's a very <laughs> bad <laughs> example of uh, a corrupt clergyman. Yeah. Um. <laughs> that's not that's not a campaign that we put out on the AP for very 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 good reason. <laughs> uh, shall we um shall we move on from this oh, and, yeah. uh, <laughs> i was just filling the gap while you're looking up the rules matt I, I, i'm trying to get a word in edgeways um, <laughs> da, 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 ingo could you make a learning roll i would be happy to make a learning roll um since I don't have any mental conditions, so I don't take any minuses nice. there, right? Okay. So this is five. Oh, I dropped one. All right, one six. Okay. Um, uh, Magnuson, uh, the door is about to give way. Can I do uh, anything just by putting my force of strength it, it, against it's it it's being splintered i i think you okay. will take damage if you do that but that may be a thing you want to do inga um you're thinking that uh the uh particularly the housekeeper in here is really really scared of what's going on um you're remembering what the what the book said about the church grim looking after the church you realize of course by digging up the foundations of the church um magnus has caused damage to the church you're wondering whether maybe more damage to the church might distract the um the creature from the, the residents of this college but i don't know cottage but i don't know if there's anything you can you can do about that but that that's what you're remembering oh okay um so something that we could damage the church so she'll she'll be like ah i need ideas i need ideas if we possibly damage the church maybe it'll maybe it'll get distracted and we'll kill the door any ideas Mag magnuson give me a gun <laughs> why i'm gonna run out the front door and shoot the church not the front door do it from a window 
Well, it's coming through the back door or, or the opposite door to it. Okay. Is what I'm saying. What I'm saying. Okay. Um, I'll take my gun and I'll say, "Be careful with it." Uh, yeah. Don't shoot, don't shoot yourself. <laughs> Two hands. And that, that's what August will do. She'll run out the other door and and start kind of <clears throat> take a pot shot at the at the church H at the because... at the stained glass windows of the church. Thinking Something like that. Yeah. She might what be aiming for the stage. What is your ranged combat? Um. Well, it's just precision, which yeah. would be two. Okay. <laughs> it's a big target, though. It is a big target. I will give you plus you get three, five times. August, August, you get plus two for the gun as well. Oh, okay. One, two, three. Oh. We get one success. I hit the church. Blink. <laughs> uh, you shoot through uh, one of the panes of the stained glass window. It's not, not, not as destructive as you hoped. You, you imagined the whole thing would shatter and, shatter and fall. falling out of the glass. But no, a small bit of glass about that big now has a, <laughs> an even smaller bullet hole in it. But, but, let's see whether it has an effect. And I'll shout, like, stupid church, and, <laughs> and I'll insult the church as well. <laughs> Everything I can. Um... The uh, creature that you can you can see, you know, you're keeping an eye on it behind you. It's been smashing at the door of the cottage. It turns and looks at you with fiery red eyes. Can looks you at August. make a fear check, please? Don't look August. at the eyes. Um. Uh. So that would be, I've only got two dice left for this. Oh. I get one success. <laughs> What, what was the fear <laughs> test? No! It was <Right>. five. <laughs> I'm not going to make you flee, as mm -hmm. you might have done if you'd failed your fear test. Instead, I'm going to advise you to flee. <laughs> so, so, yes, she And will. also to remember that one of the texts said it's as fast as a galloping horse. Yeah, <laughs> so she will begin to flee and, and shout, that worked! And, and just start like flailing into the away oh, right. as fast I'm as gonna, she... when i hear that i'm going to open the door and i'm going to shout drop the gun <laughs> and i'm going to run after them okay <gasps> right um uh uh yeah you're running could uh, Doug, can we get the um the map up again please the the um the original village map Right, so I'm calling this the uh, the vicarage house, as it were. Which one, this Matt? Being, can't... Uh... Oh, sorry, uh, the the one nearest the church. Yeah. Okay. On the right hand side or the left? Uh, according to the church, the right hand side. <laughs> okay, the left, yeah. I mean. <laughs> the southeast it... position. Yes. No, southwest. 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 The one, the one next to the four little things in a circle, in yeah. a square. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what they are. I hope they're not the stones, which are meant to be to the east of the church, not to the west. But never mind. <laughs> um, uh, and there's only three of those, not four. So uh, I, anyway, so, uh, so this house here, just by that one, yes. yes. Where are you running? Um, away from the church, like down the road. Past and... the village hall. Yes, yeah, past, um, yeah. Which is the village hall? Number the, two. Number one. Uh, number one. No, it's always the bottom right area. Okay. Are you running running south then, are you, Millie? Um, yes, That's I good. guess I am. Is it, if you drop the gun on the road there, I'm going to shoot the church once you've gone, once I've grabbed it, try and draw it towards me again. Oop. I want you to make a agility roll, please, Millie. And get more than one success. Can you push it? Um, if I push it, I won't lose the dice till I... Wrote. When do I lose the dice? Because I've only got you two dice. You don't lose right. the dice until after you've pushed. All right. So um, I'm going to stumble a bit, become battered from falling over, okay. um, and still get no successes. Oh. Don't, don't manage to right. get up, scrabbling on my hands and knees. Okay. It's going to make an attack on you. Biting and clawing, uh, it pounces on you and 
Oh dear. Oh dear. He gets four successes. Oh, oh shit. So that is five points of, of oh no, how do we do damage? We don't do hit points here. Hold on. Is it conditions? Uh yeah, physical conditions, I think. You are broken. I think all your conditions are taken. Yeah. yeah and broken. um and you are broken. Dave, uh can you um do something to the church, I'm guessing? All right, so I've I've run out. Do I see the gun on the ground? Oh god. <laughs> Just find a rock and chuck that. I think I'm going to make you make a, a, a vigilance roll to spot the gun. Not that It'll it matters. It can, I, can I can I sweep up a, a, a rock or something? Then? You definitely can do that, yes. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to scream at the, uh, at the Grim and say, over here! And then I'm going to lob the rock through the window at the front and run for the church. Okay. Um, having broken August, mm -hmm. it turns around and it looks at you again and you need to make another fear check. Another one? Yeah, okay. it's red eyes. It stares oh. at you with its red eyes. Okay, I got three. How, how many successes do I need? Is it just one, did you say? Just one. Oh, I got one. <laughs> got one. Okay. So you I run got three the last time, so I'm not, I'm not after quite you. And um, so I want to try and get through the door and shut the church door. Well, it's making. Um, uh, I want you to observe. Um, observe okay, make an observation right. roll. Yeah. I think that's the best thing. I think, yeah. Uh, I get one success. You notice that its fur appears to be smoking a bit. <laughs> Uh, okay, good. Okay, um, um, make an agility roll to get into the church. Okay, agility is physiques at six dice. <sighs> okay, um, in a mirror image of, of of August, as I'm running for it, I'm gonna I'm gonna stumble. Stumble. I'm, I'm up battered. the steps of the church. You, you, you fall the steps, up the steps of the church. I, I, I fall on. I slip on the blood of Father, <laughs> Father Ingram, and I'm pushing the die roll. No, I get none. I get no success. Oh, no. Uh, so you <laughs> haven't got time to close the door. Yes, you get into the church, but the, but door's the open. burning beast is now in the church with you. Uh, no, Doug, shit. can we see the church plan? It's in the church with me. Oh, no. You will be aware that there are two other exits, oh, oh, three other exits from this church, I think. Okay, two, one on each side and one towards the back. Towards but, there the are win but there are windows as well, are there? The nearest yes. things to me are windows. Okay. When it's my turn next, if I'm still up, I'm going to try and just dive through one of okay. those windows. Um. May I Victor, do you do see oh. that the bones are beginning to catch now and start burning. Sorry, uh, Emily, what did you want to say? Oh, I was going to say, can Inga go in and say, stop blessing it and just burn the damn thing and shuck like a bottle of formaldehyde into the oven? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, you have out of your out of your medical bag, you have that brilliant idea. So you put that in and whoosh it gets a hold firmly and um yeah and uh in the church magnuson suddenly the cat bursts into flames so this is a giant cat is it basically yes yeah okay and i would Can also I... warn you that the church as we said has got stone foundations wood. but it's generally made of wood yeah <laughs> Can I give it a bellowing as well? So really, by uh, all means, give it another bellowing. Yeah. <laughs> send it on its way. So that's uh, what. What skill do you want me to use for bellowing? Force for bellows, I think. Force. It's so force. Physique. So that's, that's four, and then I get the plus <clears throat> two bonus for the blessing. See why I needed it. And uh, yeah. and I got two successes. I, I have the feeling in my mind that this looks like the Balrog from Lord of the Rings now. Oh. <laughs> right now. 
<laughs> I'm trying to work out a way of saying you shall not pass, but I'm not sure it's going to work. <laughs> The kitchen's going to almost explode into flames as well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, make another agility roll, uh, uh, Magnuson, to escape from the uh, church. So this thing is now uh, completely alight. Yes. But it's still kind of rampaging around, and okay. the pews and the benches are starting to catch as well. So I was just sort of, there's, there's no way of me consoling it in its last moments. It's not I, kind of like it's gonna no, blow no, up. No, it's an no, angry okay. cat. <laughs> no, fair enough. I'm going to try and dive through one of those windows then. Okay. And I, Preferably imagine one that's... a cat on fire yeah. running around. <laughs> Preferably a window that's too small for the the grim to get out of. Uh, okay, I got no successes there. Um, okay, Matt, I'm definitely going to push that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm wounded. Next. I'm wounded, so as I'm trying to get through the window, the glass is obviously slicing me and I'm getting cut. Got two successes on my reroll. Okay, yes, so you. But I'm now battered and wounded. Out through the window, but you are um, uh, battered and wounded. Uh, you, but you roll down um, the other side on, onto the grass. Um, and. The church seems to catch fire, and you can hear a terrible squealing and mewling and vicious sounding panic as uh, the church grim burns in the church it was summoned to protect. You've now got a bit of an audience around here. People have come out of the hall and uh, they watch you. Um, watching the church burn the bones I'm gonna shed it. seem to be turning into ash in the in the cottage the grim you think is gone i'm gonna shed a tear for the grim for a moment and then i'm gonna run to august and see if i can save her i'm also out the door and running following magnuson <sighs> right august let us do that um critical critical damage i'm just imagining victor just walking out the house going i did it guys and then there's a, the whole church is on fire <laughs> and august on the floor and magnuson's covered in blood uh, did some great bellowing well done <laughs> on the back one vic <laughs> um, 41 41 uh, <clears throat> um your ear has been ripped off uh, your ear? You now have another <laughs> defect, which is impaired hearing. Oh gosh! And uh, <laughs> your vigilance you rolls are minus deformed. one. Oh gosh! What next? An eye? <laughs> a leg? <laughs> but oh, she's... She always dies in your alien campaign, in your alien adventures, <laughs> oh, yeah. and she's the only one that ever seems to get injured. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Uh, Do I have to treat her wounds at all, or is she just? Uh, no, that, that, that's on. not. It's not. Uh, <laughs> it's, um, not it's not fatal. Not yeah. No. Yeah, not In fact, it is at forty-one. It is the most serious injury that she can get that isn't fatal. <laughs> sure, yeah. it doesn't oh. need uh, automatic treatment. I'm going to retrieve my pistol. Yes, you can. Now that the panic's over, you can cast around a bit and find it yeah. nobody's picked it up so do we lift august to her feet and turn to stare at an angry mob yeah i think the mob is going to be pretty angry here um you just burned the church down <laughs> no, you we didn't. probably what destroyed did the grim that um was protecting the village there were divisions that you never quite unpacked in the church but it, well, in, in the village, but the village are pretty united now. And you can you can hear Dorothea saying they knew not what they were doing. 
Give them passage. Give them safe passage out of the village. They do not deserve your anger. I'm, we I'm, can. Sorry, what are you sorry, saying? I was Martin? just going to say, um, if they're if they're looking threatening, I'm going to raise the gun in their direction. But oh. if they're not, I'm not going to. And um, I'm going to say, if I may take the liberty, um, Lady Inga, um, if anybody wants to sell their land to the Mr. Mayor now, I think the offers are still open. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, um, I don't expect yeah. it to go down terribly well, frankly. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going terribly well. You burn the church down. Uh, somebody brandishes a note, in fact, at that point. Um, I'm just going to say this one. Uh, uh, hold on. I've got to find the right one, Doug. Give me a moment. Uh, is it that one, I think? Um, Yes. So, could you show everybody <laughs> note number seventy-four? Okay. And this says, and this is signed by von Meyer, and it says, "I'm writing this in response to your previous letter regarding developments in Farnster. Farnster, in That's addition that. to purchasing the fertile forest, the discovery of an iron deposit has made." securing Fernster a top priority. It is my understanding that most of it is located under the village church, which will have to be demolished, but I shall naturally finance the construction of a new one. With the majority of landowners on my side, this will not be a problem. Offer them what it, whatever it takes. This deal must go through. It's the, uh, uh, sorry, I'm just, uh, it's yeah. the most valuable one, the most valuable ore is at stake. And somebody raises this and says that these people were sent to burn the church down and make us sell our land to this vile von Meyer. Um, and um, uh, Dorothea turns to you and says, I'm not sure how long I can hold them back. <laughs> <laughs> time, time to go. Time to go. Yeah. Uh, it was your grim that burnt the thing down, not us. <laughs> Ah, Grim protected the church until you set it on fire. <laughs> and killed, 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 killed the father in charge. And he, uh, um, yes, order me to go, please, Lady Inga. Yes, I uh, think that we should take our leave now while it's still an option. <laughs> Don't you think, Magnuson? I think that's an excellent idea, uh, Dr. Inga. Do we need those clothes? Should we just leave? Do we need to? We, I don't think we there's, need to go back nothing, to the Nothing important of mine left behind, that's for sure. Okay. I've got to. I've got to go in and grab my Bible. I can't. I can't leave it behind. Oh, you, buy, no. you buy another one. I'll get you. I'll get you a new Bible. It's the, mo it's the most. It's the most published book on the planet. We can get you another copy. <laughs> you take it to their church. They need it. Yeah, maybe I'll leave it behind as a gift. <laughs> Marta Karlstrom, uh, when you when you come back, you walk back towards the house, or you run. You well, you, you walk quickly, shall we say, Victor, back towards the house. Yeah, yeah. And you find that Martin Kulstrom has got your bags lined up on the porch oh. of the house. <laughs> and she is uh, smiling rather smugly, but also looking a bit fierce at you. And said, uh, I understand your your uh, stay may be, may be over. Uh, perhaps <laughs> perhaps yep. it's been cut. Quickly. Perfect short. Thank you for our bags. Have a nice day. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> and that, I guess, is where we will leave <sighs> the adventure cool. of the wicked secret. Uh, Excellent. Yeah. Thank wow. you very much. You never did discover the secret society, although you discovered their uh, their their mm. um, their place mm -hmm. of worship. Uh, and you didn't discover the the politics going on within them, but you can't yes. complain. <laughs> well, I just I just want to say that this was an excellent a actual play, but I'm not really the ultimate authority on on what whether or not this was or not. I I, I think we should bring in the real expert oh, on this actual Gabby. play. <laughs> and then of course, Gabby Debor, Ga hey. Gab Gabby, what 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 did you think? Oh, it was very fun. Like it's. Uh... Whenever I've done actual plays, I've always game mastered them myself. 
so it's really fun to actually hear other people play the stuff you've written um mm -hmm. because it's so interesting to see the way they spin it they do something differently like the whole thing that you didn't uh, really investigate or like find the whole secret society is very different from the way i've ran it but it was also very fun like you really focus so much on like the grim and the whole monster part of the mystery which is when i've they ran it have been grim clues pretty yeah. early and uh, i was quite <laughs> which was very said, which was very much? Much. so it did mm. it, that's where yeah. it, it changed i think um yeah. mm -hmm. but uh, it was great yes Thank yeah, you very it was, it was yeah, really you, you're great. You're terrific players. Like it's just, cool. I, I love the whole the whole. I should also mention that everything's related to cheese. I am is <laughs> all of their their creation. Um, so yes, also sorry. I'm gonna give you a, a fun little tidbit. That note you found on Hamashem, mm -hmm. if you had investigated it, it's actually written by Karl Strem. Who's mm -hmm. tried to uh do trying a to set him up, too. yes. Yeah, 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 exactly. I thought and there that was, was another great. note which yeah. you didn't yeah. find, Dave, that was going to that yeah. you'd have two bits of his handwriting to compare, but um, ah, right. oh, okay. never, uh never mm -hmm. to that. It's, I mean <clears throat> I mean the thing is because, there are so many wonderful moving parts in this story, Gabrielle. And yeah. I had four hours to play them out in. And um mm -hmm. yeah, I, I I'm I'm super impressed that you managed to do it. Like, <laughs> like, I know that sounds like a very sort of thinly veiled compliment, but this is a fairly <laughs> long mystery. It like, is very much. It is. Like, and if it we've is done the early the, bits, I the long... those, those are great scenes with with Maya and with um, with um... yeah, with Linda Held and like, yeah, like with Nils. Like, this is the longest one in the book by far. I think it's more than ten pages longer than Silver Sea. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Like it's twice as long <laughs> as the other two. Now I said uh, to Anna, Anna said, Would you do a wicked secret? I said, Oh that oh no, I think I said, Oh, if if, if Gabby's gonna be there, then we should do a wicked secret. And she said, Yeah, oh. can you cut it down to four hours? I said, Ah, it'll be no problem. And um, <laughs> <laughs> and like the day y yesterday I was going actually no this is a problem but because uh, <laughs> it's not like it's a linear story and i can chop bits out actually it's just all no. happening it's yeah all happening yeah like like it, it like it is very very free but i think you did a great job and that's why it's so fun to see how you sort of interpret it because there's so many moving parts there's so many things going on um yeah so it was a uh, it was great fun to see i see uh, so randy asked if i was uh, gonna write anything more soon um for Vasen, nothing that has been revealed. Uh, that much I can say, but I am writing so much for lots of different games out there. So, so you are doing uh, something for Troubleshooters, aren't you? Which isn't a free league game, yes. but um, it's one I'm Yes, I am doing in. something for yeah, like uh, Troubleshooters. It's uh, um, I am. I've sent them the, the drafts and everything. It's called Fabulous, and it's set in London during 1960s. So it's all about, mm -hmm. like, yeah, like it's all about like swinging 60s mod culture, rock and roll, uh, mm -hmm. all of the good stuff. Um, like, very sort of blow up meets the Avengers, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. style basically. And, and we're talking also, about the right Avengers. We're talking about Steed and Mrs. Peel, aren't we? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Of, course. of course. We're talking, yeah. we're talking yeah. the British Avengers. Like, there's <laughs> actually a, a little uh, uh, nod to Mrs. Peel as well. Excellent. Cool. Yes. Excellent. So, She's yeah. epic. Yeah. Yes. So, and it was great fun. Thanks for letting me join in by the end and just say <laughs> hi. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it's great. Thank you. Absolutely. I will never forgive yeah. Doug, but, uh, but thank you for watching. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course. It was my pleasure. And I'm, I'm going to remind folks that uh, if you did not check our uh, or did not uh, watch our uh, interview that we had well, yesterday, I guess, uh, on the show, uh, go check that out. Uh, you can hear more from Gabby and uh, Johan uh, about Vason. And, and uh, if you haven't picked up A Wicked Secret from the Free League web store, you might as well get on it because this would make a great Christmas gift for folks that uh, have uh, mm -hmm. Mason in their libraries and haven't don't have the uh, that book already in in their in their possession. So 
I want to thank everybody for uh, tuning in and being a part of this uh, actual play. It was a lot of fun. We had a lot of viewers. Thank you, everyone, for uh, commenting. And, and uh, there was some, some lively uh, conversation there in the mm -hmm. in the chat. And Gabby, you were, you were a, a, a large part of that. And, I, and thank you so much for uh, keeping everyone enter entertained in the chat there, during that uh, during this session. It was a lot of fun. Um, thank, to, thank you to all our players. And of course, thank you to uh, Matthew. Matthew, you want to plug uh, Effect Podcast uh, one more time? Yes, we always want to plug Effect Podcast. Uh, so tomorrow at one minute past midnight, uh, Dave's playtest, the official playtest of Destroyer of Worlds continues on effectap.org. Um, we're up to part 10 of that. Yep. My new character comes in and um, having my, my old character... No spoilers been burnt. for those who haven't... Yeah, yeah, that, 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 shh. <laughs> Somebody might not have listened to episode nine yet. So. And uh, yeah, and you're, uh, we're on foot um, trying to get back to Fort Nebraska. So um, so that's a good episode. Uh, we've also got, uh, uh, we released an episode last week of our, uh, our talk show. And uh, there'll be another one of those in a couple of weeks time. And that's on effectpodcast.org. Uh, and also on Monday, we can see do some more actual play with, I'm running Coriolis, Mercy of the Icons, on Mondays at 8.30. Excellent, excellent. Dave, uh, you'll be back uh, on the Free League channel here next week, uh, Wednesday and Thursday, I think, uh, to do with me for uh, some alien content. Yeah, absolutely. So this time next week, um, I'm running um, the next alien AP for Free League uh, called Endex. Um, what are we doing on Wednesday? Wednesday, I think we're talking with <laughs> this guy named Drew Gaska. Isn't have, have you heard I, of him? I, I don't. I, I no, think he. No, you know, no. I, I, I know the well, major is, person is, behind Destroyer of the Worlds is this isn't guy that named Dave, isn't, that, but, isn't that Saturday? Was it Saturday? Or am I getting completely wrong? So yeah. I think you're getting completely, you're you're completely, completely, wrong, Wednesday, you? completely wrong, my friend. And um, Drew some, is talking to Millie on Wednesday. Well, UK Games Expo. Yeah, t t there's, there's some time zone shenanigans going on for the UK <laughs> Games Expo chat. Yeah. Um, and yeah, on on Wednesday around about noonish, um, uh, I host. Um, I'm the host of the UK Games Expo channel. Um, I'm going to be talking um, about some some uh, alien things with uh, Drew Gasker. Might even be talking to somebody who runs a lot of effect podcast things. Maybe, oh, maybe as well maybe um but that's that's a, a different day we, we'll we'll talk about that another time <laughs> different channel so so yeah, just to confirm yeah so it's the dragon meat um we're all playing games in space um we have going on tomorrow oh that's tomorrow, right that's right saturday yeah, exactly. um four o'clock four o'clock ct where i'm moderating a conversation with drew and uh, the great ricard and troyer who's written um mercy the icons and last cyclade so that's um, that's on Saturday at four o'clock CET. Um, if there is something on Wednesday, um, I'm, I'm happy to come along if I'm not at yeah. work. But, okay, um, <laughs> we'll, we'll chat again. I, 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 I thought I sent you a message, but we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah, anyway. we'll figure it out. So, all right. Uh, yeah, so I, I'm going to remind oh. folks. Oh, yes, yes, go ahead, Gabby. I just want to say, uh, speaking of drag meat, at 12, if you want more Vassan content and want to see more me, uh, I'm in a panel with Johan Egerkrans, the creator of Vassan and the Books and the Art Books, and Lil Sinse, the game creator, uh, will be in a panel at 12 CET on Saturday at Dragon Meet. So make nice. sure you check out that as well. Yeah. So much freely content. It's awesome to see. <laughs> and we thank you all so much for, for being a part of it and, and uh, sharing you know, your love for, for these games because uh, it's been awesome to see freely just grow and grow as, uh, as the years go by. And, and we just love putting out more and more awesome stuff. So thank you so much for everybody that, uh, that each kind of helps boost our signal. So thank you so much. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks. One last thank you to, Thanks to Emily. Yeah. Uh, and do you want to plug your show? So oh, that's everybody right. else that's right. yeah. has plugged their show. <laughs> sure. Um, my name is Emily. I'm part of Level One Geek. Go ahead and check out our website, www.levelonegeek.com, um, where we try and convert you to the glorious addiction of TTRPGs. You don't have to have a nerd background to get into this. You can start at level one like the rest of us. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. And uh, Tom, you don't have anything to plug. 
no, but I'm, I'm, I'm not desperate to get you back playing Morkborg with the old team again. So, yeah, so I, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. Very good. All right. Yeah. I think that's going to do it for this session. Thank you all very much. I'm going to remind folks that if you've made it all the way to this point and you haven't hit that like, bu like button, hit that like button down below. And also please hit that subscribe button. We uh, hopefully get to, to 3,500 subscribers by the end of the year. That would be amazing. So, all right. Brilliant. Thank you so much. Thank we'll you. see you next week. We wave goodbye. We, we wave goodbye <laughs> at this point. It's like the Brady Bunch.